Yo, yo, what up, everyone? How's it going? Thanks for this sub solid play. I appreciate it. So we do have a big sub goal going on right now. So if we reach 25 sub goals, sub goals. 25 we 25 subs, uh, we will be doing another 25 v 25 in three months. And on top of that, if we get to 50, we are going to host a Japanese only exclusive exhibition event so those are our two big goals that we have right now so if you let guys girls like seeing all this guilty gear action be sure to give us a sub so those are some big sub goals that we have going on and we are just about to get started very soon and on top of that we do have the matcherino we have the link exclamation point match reno to get the link if you want to donate so that those are what we have going on right now for today and we're gonna have some awesome commentators some hype action of course as you can see looking at these stacked teams it is going to be one hell of a guilty gear day And everyone that's following, thank you for all the follows. Appreciate it. Um, so there's a <clears throat> sponsor quest for the match right now, right? Yeah, I just want to do it. You don't know how to do the sponsor Why don't I get the codes? No, but like there's stuff on the side for the page that people can do to like ask yeah. them, right? So there is also a sponsor quest on the match Reno page as well. Yeah, we just don't have codes, guys, so, uh, we no haven't- No codes. <laughs> yeah, we haven't yet been able to access Matrino codes, but, uh, there are, uh, sponsor quests on the sides of the Matrino page, where you can fill out some information, add a little bit of free money to the plot. Uh, otherwise, guys, please do consider, you know, as much as you can, or as little as you feel comfortable donating would be greatly appreciated to the players, all the money- We'll go to the team that uh, wins, I assume. I don't know how much uh, we'll end up getting, but hopefully it'll be a, a wor worthwhile prize so that they can split it amongst the 25 team members, guys. So let's really make it something substantial for these players. Help, help, get, help get there today. All right, so I believe both team captains are picking... Who is going to be starting off the action? Oh, I'll be. I I will be adding some money though to the Matrino plot though. So let's start things off, guys. But I want you guys to get in on it too. Make it hype. So right now we are just about to get started. Right now both teams are conversing, discussing, and planning out their strategy. Oh my gosh. They are working out a world destruction plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's not building a country. Dang, what country is that? That sucks. What the heck? That is unfortunate, but you know what? I am glad you're here tuning in, watching some Guilty Gear action. Strategy just hit them, yep. Hundred twelve viewers already, let's go send it oh, out to your friends yeah. on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, Discord. Spread the word guys, tell your mother and father to tune in, tell your any relatives you have, the dogs, everyone. We need everyone here to tune in for the 25v25 madness that's about to begin. It's gonna be amazing, but this is already epic, guys. Oh, 
intelligence perspective is sunny. Alright. Dang, they're starting off with sunny? Oh, shoot. Got some Eddie? Eddie action. Yeah, thank you guys for the follows. We do appreciate it. Tron should go first and wipe the other team. That uh, would be pretty <laughs> epic. Yo, thank you guys all for the follows. We do appreciate it. We will have... Um, we will be very happy about all the follows and subs we get for today. But guys, the real thing that will help us uh, with streams going forward will definitely be the subs. So guys, if you really, if you can sub, uh, you know, even for a month, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, get that four ninety nine our way, or if you have Twitch Prime, then you can use your Twitch Prime maybe towards us. And we have a sub goal, like Tron mentioned earlier, 25 subs. And we will get another 25 to 25 going in three months from now. And then 50 subs, that'll be a exclusive Japanese only Guilty Gear exhibition, which is amazing. There we go. Who just subbed? Yo, Barbar. Yo, what up? Yo, there we go, Barbar. Starting it off. We are, we are already getting right there on the great path. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Let's go, guys. This is how we get things started. Yo, I see you in the, the chat, Sapri. What's going on? Fish. Yeah, you know. By the way, I I actually am on the team, Elven Shadow. But I don't know when I'm going to be going up. These 25, 25s are awesome. Thank you for running them. Yo, our pleasure, Barbar. Thank you for the sub, man. All right, so... Ooh, let's go. All right, so uh, we got the players. So I'm going to... Put that in right now. All right, we're moving towards this sub goal real fast, guys. We already got two subs. We need 23 more to get there for the next 25 v 25, <laughs> guys. You got this. This is really epic. We really appreciate it. Thunder Bell, thank you for the sub. Who's on commentary? It's going to be Sammy Fish and Fox. I don't know. No. Oh, that goes for more. Yeah, Sammy Fish and Fox will be the commentators for today. Um, they can speak if they want as well. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear you though just yet on this screen because I don't think we have an audio source, right? Do we have an audio source for them on this scene? I don't think so. Not on this one. Yeah, no. so actually they can't hear you just yet, uh, guys. But uh, we'll, we'll switch scenes uh, and then they'll for sure be able to hear you. So yeah, Sammy Fish and Fox guys, so they're gonna hype it up, gonna get some insane action going for 25B25. That means there will be 25 players going up against 25 other players. Damn. Alright, so go. let's see who we got in the lobby right now. Yo, yo, let's see. Here we go. Alright. Now they can hear you, uh, commentators. So, yep. Uh, we are, so once we get the other opponent in here, I am going to mute myself and let the commentary take over. Alright, sounds good. How's it going everybody? Uh, welcome to the 25v25 on here, Follow the Abyss. With me, uh, as you heard Tron say a second ago, the one and the only Fox. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Earlier than most people expected, yes, but it's better to get it out of the way because there's going to be 50 people playing Guilty Gear today. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know if it's going to come down to the last person or not, but you, you can expect a lot of people. Yeah, that's true, right? Uh, you know, I, I think we sort of expect a lot of them, considering that the last time we had a 25 v 25, I believe it ran through 45 of them? Yes, we went and then the last few played each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then and then we had that last bit. 
uh, that I that, that everybody was like, oh no. <laughs> that was really funny. But uh, you know what's nice about that between that and this twenty five through twenty five is that we have a, a few different players. There's a lot of similar faces that you've seen before. Uh, but there'll also be a lot of new ones as well. It's not exactly everybody that played the last time. So uh, I'm really excited for this one. Not only that it's just going to be like a lot of really good players, but also, you know, it, it, it's a lot of different players as well. Um, for me, like, I'm really excited for this. Uh, I, I see Joe on there, a Johnny player from SoCal, like the guy I used to play with oh, back in that. when I used to was playing a lot, a lot, like in early plus R days use super duper good um and and there's other names you know we got you know i mean i can start rattling them off if you want but i you've seen these before you've heard these names before we got raekwon who's just the uh, midnight carnival winner food uh, is killing it with the potemkin or Hayhun and exert and blue cash digital watches the list goes on and on i'm just reading top and bottom at this point but yeah it, it's it's going to it's going to be great Hopefully, uh, what's it called? Because I saw Alan Shadow team, and I was like, damn, this looks kind of stacked. And I looked okay. over at um, Skeleton uh, Minion team, and I was like, hmm, this is actually pretty good, too. I wonder how this is going to go. Yeah, this one, this one's hard. It's hard to call, for sure, because there's definitely a bunch of players on both teams who can just run away with it. They have, they have both have the abilities to do so. So it's like, I honestly don't know. I, I feel like a lot of the times with 25v25s, it's like, Whoever gets ahead first, like who gets that one player who goes off and gets like four or five wins or something like that. If that happens, like they're usually just have to, they have the ability to put on some heavy pressure on the opponents. All right, because this is a, you know, you play one game, you, you lose, you go, you get off. So momentum is very important, and it also depends on which characters you're trying to put out first. Um, it's like, do you want to have a character with the biggest? Uh, robbery potential or do you want to have the, the character that has the most stability in playing the whole cast right and then there's also like the factors of uh putting the strength of the player specifically in there somewhere right like usually especially in guilty or specifically you want to like focus on keeping the strength of your players like sort of towards the very end uh, a lot of the times even if you're playing in a pretty bad matchup so as long as you have the ability to like uh you know as long as you've played that matchup before I don't, I don't feel like there's a lot of matchups in in plus r where it's like completely unwinnable like, like you're basically just avoiding some for pretemkin and like some other characters and that's about it right all right up first it seems that we have tommy gun versus sunny so we have eno versus eddie Eno versus Eddie, Jesus. What's really cool, it's like a lot of the times for the 25v25s, we, we, you sort of, or sorry, for like regular tournaments, you sort of see a lot of the same faces coming in, but like 25v25, especially for like one character at a time like this, uh, it kind of forces you to see a bunch of other new characters you don't see often. Like we never get to see Eno. It's very rare because she's such a difficult character, but having to need the Eno for this tournament means that we get to like, see this character in action she's so cool uh, too bad she can't play the game because she's getting opened up by a uh, mix-up right now big mix-up yeah it's fine all you do i mean in this matchup really you just save for 50 percent meter and then you have to respect longing desperation but you know uh, if you never get there you never get there so especially if it gets exhaustion pressure going you're just like wait when is it my turn when do i get to play the game like right uh, here look no at that again oh, time to guess there's the exhaust oh just jump out that's clean Jumped oh. out. Oh, burst to kill Eddie. 5D. Shadow Gallery combo? No, actually. The second hit didn't hit. It felt like the second hit hit weird. Yeah, it didn't get the knockdown. It just popped yeah. up. Okay. But Tommy gets a chance to play. Nope. Meaty. Trying to jump afterwards. Ah! Jump kick out of it. No. Oh, no. Salvaged it. Nice. Air hit Mawaru. Cleaned it up. Sonny's going to take the first one. Yeah. All right, strap in, folks. This is going to be a, uh, a long one, because if this goes back and forth like how most people think it might, uh, won't be here for a while.
sit combo to take your burst. You, you know, you just do the quick handshake. He's just like, good games, man. Like, like you know, come back over to the hotel room. Or <laughs> yeah, play. Yeah. And, you know, we have we have like we have food, we have snacks, you can chill and stuff. You get get some sets in. <laughs> Dude, I I don't understand how somebody like that can play so nicely. It's it's a it's great, but also like I feel like he's one of the cleanest Plusar uh, Slayer players. Yeah, because I don't remember if he was playing slayer the whole time but i do remember within like the last two years he he committed to slayer and it looked pretty good for him so he might have been uh he might have been a part of that that slayer contingency that it's been so long but like i imagine like a lot of people early on in Nixard were like nope this isn't for me speaking of which uh we have we have Kugi here going up against uh, Sunny. So right now, typically a lot of people would be like, oh, Slayer has to work to kind of get in, but uh, well, as you saw right there, <laughs> he flies no. in with this uh, force break. Yeah, I mean, you, a lot of the times, unless you're like pinned down by a meaty right on top of you, Slayer has the ability to get out. But, woo, oh, our exhaustion, God. where's the reset? Well, no, he's just gonna go for the full combo. combo. Oh, okay. Oh, he's flexing. All right, relax. There it is. Got everybody. Oh, no. We can make it up. We have some meter. Oh, you might be dead. Oh. Okay, it's first. Oh. He tried to RC to save it. Oh, no. Skills. No, we're good. We're good. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, that was a nice high. Oh, no. Oh, man. He got his ankles Wait. broken. He he did uh he did break the law and went the other side, but the six H still went the wrong way. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I thought he was gonna get hit on the way up, but I, I guess uh, nobody would save save him. Oh. He's gonna get the twenty five. He got it. Exhaustion? No. Wait, you can't do that. It's <laughs> not allowed. Yeah, I, that felt a little bit greedy. He got punished for it. Ooh, <gasps> cross one, cross up dandy. Pick it up. Oi! No! Oh, so close. Right, that might have that, that might have been death though if you got it. Ooh. There's the burst from Kuki. He's like, I, I need this round. I don't want to lose any momentum. Air dash, jump H. Damn, he made that combo real tight. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. Sunny has started like every round like this. Usually, this is the thing that you look forward to avoiding. You're like, mm -hmm. no, thank you. I don't want any part of this. Knockdown puddle setup. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, damn! Kui was holding up. He was like, "No, please, <laughs> let me live." No, he, he ain't, he he ain't living no more. He got perfected. Woof! <laughs> Imagine holding up being probably one of the worst options there because he, he still got comboed anyway. Because normally it's like, oh, if Eddie's on the ground, I don't have to worry about getting properly comboed. But if you're a competent Zato player like Sunny, it's just like, oh, that's free. That's free, like. 100 damage almost. Damn. That's crazy because you like what happened basically is what Sonny wanted the entire time. But mm. it just happened at the beginning of the round twice. Three times. <laughs> when you've played as many games as Sonny has, you kind of just know what your round opener is going to be without any. Yeah, that's true. That's true. A lot of the like a, a lot of. When you get to be like at that highest level, like definitely those things of like in Guilty Gear, like round start openers and stuff like that end up being so strong because like being able to take the momentum is like real crazy. Uh, you get the hit, you get all that meter, you might push him to the corner. So like, you know, little optimizations for like top level players like Sunny, especially if you're like one of the best at your character. It's definitely a big deal. Ooh, we got bears. Oh wow, Bears is here. Bears, what are you doing here, bro? You don't you don't play Guilty Gear anymore, man. You cook now. You're a professional cooker, except you don't stream on Twitch. <laughs> where's my where's my Bears and Brett cooking show? <laughs> Bears cooking show would be so sick. Damn, that would, that's e that's easy money. <laughs> What is what is bears? Uh, what does Brett do in this? Do you just sit and yell at bears the entire time? No, I, I, I have a. I'll talk, I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it later. Okay, okay. All right, get into this one. Oh right, man. So, as a lot of people know, bears is most likely the best uh, exert chip player. But oh, he yeah. did come from a little bit of plus R beforehand. 
So a lot of people are just like, oh my god, you played Pulsar and look at his defense. He's doing pretty well, except he got opened up. I'm sorry, Bears. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Thanks. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, I mean, two different games, but that's two perfects in a row for Sunny. Oh, I'll take that trade. All right, got rid of the buddy. Yeah, I didn't get punished for it either. Usually when, when Eddie takes the hit there, uh, Eddie players are looking for some sort of like long combo into drill, knockdown, meaty, and then you have most of the Eddie meter back. Oh, no, air reset. You can see Bear's just trying to like smother Sunny so he can't get a chance to Oh, but no! Drop the ender there. Gonna try to tech out. Nice Nobru there. Oh, more Ooh, skills. skills. Who's that? Oh, okay, there we go. Scrambles. Which, which is usually Chip's forte, I feel like, because Chip has a lot of really fast normals, gets a quick knockdown, and it's like, all right, cool, I'm just gonna, like, mix you up again. Right. But if he loses the scramble, usually he loses, like, somewhere between a quarter to half his life, depending on what the starter is from the opposing character. So you kind of right. have to risk, weigh the risk-reward. Yeah, and... Like, especially considering that once you get knocked down as as Eddie, you have, like, no defensive options whatsoever. You're basically hoping for a good dead angle. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, against Chip, that's, like, a double nightmare, right? You're you're dealing with, like, absurdly good wake-up pressure, left-right mix-ups, stuff like that. Okay, who do we got up here? The tank? tank? All right, cool. Damn, they're wasting no time. That's what I like to see. They're just going in. God bless. Yeah. Person out, person back in. Uh, unless they have like a queue of people like lined up before they start discussing. That's that's a good point, actually. That's probably a good way for you to sort of, uh, you know, start this off. Just make it simple. A lot of the times you're not trying to pick too hard. Like I said before, uh, you're kind of saving your best for last still. Even mm -hmm. in a team format where you're looking for matchups and stuff like that, you're sort of just still looking to to save those guys because the best players in in plus r will be players who know how to play bad matchups anyway right oh blocks a 6k overhead oh no he's, he's blocking what is he uh, doing oh my he's god blocked. he's blocked three 6ks he hasn't been able to escape this pressure yet so. <laughs> yeah he needs to do something with it but he has he has blocked more than more than normal <laughs> Like, I know people are like, man, is this is this Action Core Eddie? I thought this was Plus R Eddie. Plus R Eddie is not supposed to be this good. And it's like, given the proper player who knows how to use the tools and just sit down and play this mini game, still go figure it out. Yeah, that 2K stuff was so sick. Oh no, I've seen this before. Oh, oh no, I, he actually he actually spent that time going into exhaustion. That was mad smart. <laughs> that was sick. All right, tank's turn now. Soul pressure, jump. Hey, we got those. Nice. Gets the knockdown on top of it. Quick 40%. Where are you going? Reset. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, he's got the burst. He's got the burst. He's like, once he gets that here. meter. Yes. Okay. Once he gets the meter. Well, I say I should have said once he gets the meter and he doesn't get it. Ah, yeah, unlockable. exactly. Unlockable. That still exists in this game. Yo, Sonny. What are you that, doing? That's four people already, right? That's four people. And I know people are just like, man, Plus R Eddie is broken. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. It's just not as broken as the other characters. That, uh, whew. You think, you think this about, that, it's one of the few characters was a legit unblockable or hard to blockable. But like, it's fucking, it, it, it's, it's hard. It's, it's essentially unblockable. Yeah. Because it's like a one frame, uh, one frame switch from low to high. And you're just like, yeah, about that. All right, watch me slash back this skills. And slash back being one of those mechanics that like yeah. uh, nullifies unblockables or hard to blockables, but it's just like if you mess up your slash back, you're just like, oh, I guess I'm gonna get punished for that. That's cool. Yeah, it's. I mean, I think for Eddie specifically, it kind of took a while for people to sort of adjust to the play style that uh, Plus R Eddie was because he was no longer like just puddle and, you know, puddle and laugh. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's Mole? Oh, God. Someone's not going to play the game. It's Skeletal Minion. <laughs> it's Skeletal Minion 2. Someone check the IP address. Someone check. 
Oh, man. I, we, I, we make this joke because there was a tournament where Skeletal and Mold did super duper well on it. And they were both just trashing everybody. Uh, and we were just making jokes that it might have been Skeletal's secondary account because he was playing so good. Yeah. Like right here. Oh, Danzai, what are you doing? It's Abba. Abba Mor Morhel mode. I, I really like this. You, you, you're you're getting steamrolled by Eddie. Yeah, let me just uh, let me put the steamroll character in there. Except she gets steamrolled pretty hard. <laughs> oh god, her ankles are broken. Help! Send help! Oh no, Suka. Oh, I didn't want to block. Oh, I'm smoothing. <laughs> smoothing. Smoothing. Oh. Smoothing too much though. Oh, oh all right. A little bit more smoothing gets the key grab for free. Hey, somebody knows where to disrespect. Gets his turn. All right, you just need a block. You need one block so you can Donzai. There it is. Nope, but he blocked the Donzai right back after the 5K. Woo, help. Get me out of here. Get me out. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Could have been a square first. He had the 25% meter. I expect the FRC. Tried to pick it up out of the air. Nice. Goku Moro, huh? Ooh, he'll take that trade. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Woo! He's dead. Oh yeah, he is so he is so dead. <laughs> I am going I am going in. I mean when she's in Goku Mora mode, she, she only has one thing to do. Oh no! Oh yeah. Oh, burst. Nice. Air dash back in, keeps the pressure going. Try to keep her on her butt as long as possible. Unblockable. Yeah, he's gonna take that, right? Because as soon as he as soon as Mole blocks something, he's just gonna Donzai. Oh Sukka! Oh no! Time to guess again. Oh, shoot. Woo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, no. no. Oh, you dropped it. It's okay. It's okay. Rob Keep him. the pressure up. Oh, my God. I'm so I'm frightened. Rob him. Oh, my God. I, I would. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's going. He's doing. Oh, my. He mashed. He mashed. He mashed. He is, he is so lucky that any 2P is not low because that would have got exploded. Oh my god, I, I was frightened. I was frightened. I would, I would rather have I would rather have Jason Voorhees chase me than Abba in in Moroha mode. I know Jason Voorhees is pretty unstoppable, honestly. I don't yeah. I, there's, I like, ra there's like eight movies across like 20 years. I would <laughs> rather Jason. Jason doesn't have a Donzai. Uh <laughs> You That's think about true. that, you're just, you're just hiding in the corner somewhere, and all of a sudden, like, the roof disappears? Bro, he could, like, <laughs> lift half of a house up if he wanted to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Abba would obliterate the house. That's true. You just give her yeah. a, a force break Tanzai, and also yeah. you're like, wait a minute, where'd this house go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought Can't I was safe. Eventually, eventually, Jason gets dealt with. But not Abba, because she runs when she's in Moral mode. You see that run? Yeah, exactly. You can't do anything. She has twenty-five percent meter. You you have to down back. But what if you get unblockable? Oh, that's true. Because because that that moves an unblockable. You have to guard it in the air. I totally forgot that she has unblockable. I feel like, like Abba players only use it for round enders, but like it's so good. Yeah, because no one remembers. All right, <clears throat> we have Dizzy. Oh God, she's already in. Hill. Yeah, so sending, this is a little bit of a different approach to sort of like trying to deal with Eddie's bad wake up. Instead of trying to chuck him along, you're just sort of looking for a knockdown here and then just gonna use like really strong Oki pressure. Dizzy does that really well, although I can't show it to you because Sunny's like continuing to go off. He's but... up. Five people so far. Yeah. All right, full screen fish. Hold that pressure. Yeah, that's more or less airtight. You're not allowed to to move forward. Oh god, force break. Spike. Nope. Break the law. There's no wire. See here. Oh my god. Oh god. Hit out of the air. Tech back. Tech. <laughs> run in back forward. Eddie took the hit. See you later. Hey, it's okay. There you go. Finally, it looks like the it looks like the armor in in Sunny is definitely having a little bit of dents in it. Oh, that burst is almost taking it. Look at Fish not get hit by the burst. <laughs> Damn, Fish is doing all the work in this version. Oh my God, imagine that. Oh, he got hit out of the air. 
Oh, we have a little bit of extra movement because we're dizzy. Oh my god, he got hit out of there. And he has no more meter anymore because he spent it FDing while he was in there. Oh, it's fine because he can't. He's not being pinned down except right here. Oh no. It's a help. It's a help. Ah! Ah! Wait, that's a that's, uh, reload, Eddie. Get that out of here. Yeah, Sunny, Sunny actually goes back and forth between them depending on what he wants. Bro, just give me a shark. Just give me that. Give me oh me my god. Norbiru. Give me Norbiru. That Norbiru is kind of crazy though. Like, it, it moving kind of slightly forward is, is nuts. That's true. Uh oh. Did turn back around? That's cool. Blocks the next up, tries to air dash back in. Nice. Ah! Bubble just holding it down so well. Exactly where you don't want to be. Right into my loving arms, Sunny. Get back in the corner. Hey, empty low. Oh, oh no! It might be time. No. He's going. Right. He's not going here. No, ah. no perfect. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Such a hard position to be in without meter. Bro, fish is putting in all the work. Fish is so dumb. It's 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 so good. Fish. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like, oh yeah. It's how many versions of fish are there? It's like the one that bites. It's like bite, 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 laser, bite, laser. And then I think there's another one that's just like continuous lasers that if you get hit in the air, you just get full screen carried into a corner. Something like that, yeah. I I don't just look at it and I just go, well, I have to sit and deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is my lot in life now. All right, so four five people to one. Now. Is it five or is it four? I, I can't yeah. even track. So uh, I can't see the names because I crossed them out on my own paper. <laughs> oh, we got. I'm sure. So I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. We had a uh, tank. Uh, the mm -hmm. the men the men and or the I should say the players fall into Sunny include bears, Kugi, yes. Yes. tank, yes, uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. and Mole. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 So I mean, remember we're talking about like early momentum sort of you know being being a really big factor. For for the most part, like it, you don't really expect it to happen at the very beginning of the of the set, but it sort of sets the same tempo, right? Like it it's that the opponents or the other team has to play catch up. They have to now there's players on that team that can't just one and done. They can't just take one game, you know, get counterpicked and then leave. They have to outplay at some point. Yeah. Uh, and it has to happen multiple times now. So it's definitely like one of those things that is going to be up to up to the skeletal minion team in order to pick up. But what's harder about that is that it's also freaking dizzy. Uh <sighs> Which is going to be really, really difficult. This character is so, so good. Dizzy, Dizzy, in my opinion, like one of the best characters in this version of the game. Because, yeah, like you saw before, Fish is incredibly difficult to deal with. Uh, has incredible mix-up game. Strike throw pressures, phenomenal. Uh, force break spears is like just the band-aid on your pressure if you ever have any problems like you just have the ability to like fix your pressure with 25 percent meter yeah because like oh what's it called uh the improvements from dizzy from i'd say slash to from slash to action core to plus r they're very incremental but when you add all of them together it's just like oh this character is now a monster yeah yeah she's so so good Ooh, we got bike so we got zeta's biking on here Biken, I don't know. I don't know. I have not seen much of this matchup uh, in this version of the game because we don't have a lot of Dizzy or a lot of Biken. This is true. It's, it's correct. But I, I do believe Biken has a good handle on most of Dizzy's tools outside of getting... Like, if she gets counter hit by something terrible, obviously she was like half her life, but that doesn't matter when she can uh, alpha counter out of practically every box rate. Right, right, right. And and the secondary problem is that she trucks. She has a truckload of damage. And Dizzy is a pretty low effective health character. So uh, she can't take more than like two and a half hits. Uh, otherwise, she, she will get cleaned up. 
But Dizzy does have the largest throw rate in the game, so yeah. Uh, when Vikings are trying to like down back, like Haha, I'm gonna block this move, it's like no, I just got tossed. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, you, there's also the secondary. I, I'm blocking something, and you know, it kind of removes a lot of your alpha counter options because a lot of the times they'll just not be useful uh, because you're you're blocking fish instead of Dizzy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pick it up. There you go. All right, so round one, Zeta. And as you can see, it's kind of tough for uh, Zeta to like try to move around properly because you have to deal with bubble, you have to deal with fish, you have to deal with ice spike. But once you kind of get into the range where you can alpha counter those, you're, you're okay, but you still have to be careful because now you're in the corner. Ah, uh, help. I'm trying to get out. Help. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is a lot that will be uh, helped out by <laughs> by playing with sound in this game. That's one of them. Because that, that will happen a, a great deal with Dizzy players, is that if you tech up, they'll just do Force Break Spikes. Or, hey. uh, say, uh, oh, wait, 6k? Ah. Wait, was that 2D backdash? Okay, alright. We backdash in the corner. <gasps> oh, Oren? Oh, we got Can those? we carry it? Almost. Uh. Much harder when you have uh, when when your back's against the wall. You have more screen for that wall bounce. Ooh, instant Zakuro. You love to see it. Oh no! What did we got mashed on? Oh, fish took the burst. What? What did I hit? What did Jeff hit? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. This is so good. This version. Yeah, it, she, there is like other than defensive options, like this character really doesn't lack for anything. <laughs> uh, super duper good. But uh, that's when definitely has a chance to like make a comeback here. Not only is he a really strong player, but he's also playing a character that a lot of characters will have difficulty against. Um. And if you recognize this early on in the 25v25, then you have like sort of two ways of thinking. You either one, put up a player you know can take care of it, which might end up being a stronger player than you'd like to put on early, uh, early up. Or B, you sort of play and hope that, you know, it doesn't go, it doesn't tie up by the time you have like, you just hope that like Dizzy slips up. Speaking of which, I see tails. Never mind. <laughs> Never uh, mind. If you were around on Sunday last week, you'll know that tails got to winners finals of the Midnight Carnival tournament yes. that we had. Yes. Pretty convincingly. They were great. They were fantastic. That was some of the best play that I've ever seen from them, and I really hope that. Um, I hope that for the future, this means that we get to see that level of play from Tails more often, uh, because I believe that was some of the best that they've played. And if they continue to play at that level, they'll be considered to be one of the best in North America, in my opinion. Yeah. Right now they're getting mixed. Oh, they blocked that. Uh, is he pressure? Scary. Wait, he's almost perfect. Help, help, help. I, I, yeah, I was going to say, though, like in, in terms of uh, Alpha or not alpha counters. Uh, in terms of guard points and stuff like that, it's there's kind of hard to put in versus this character. At least on wake up, Rin will help though. Immediate burst have to get hit by Rin. Fusion again. Bye. Later. Oh. Oh, he's getting chased. Oh my. Fish. You gotta, you gotta love fish. Oh. Hey. All right, Tails is like, this is my last chance, probably. Immediate throw again after getting burst. Time to cross up? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, oh, who's in there? Oh. Do it again. Oh. Oh, I tried to go for the knockdown there. We have a chance. Oof. No! Oh, no. Disney small. Uh, they, they dropped the combo because probably they did the wrong confirm on Dizzy. Dizzy is a light character. Yeah. Usually you uh, gotta... Uh, when you're when you're fighting a character of not I'd say of not like midweight to heavyweight, you have to be like, okay, 
in your head are are they light yes what does my light confirm real quick because you don't want to drop anything like that yeah and especially in like in plus r uh there's actually more weights in plus r than there are i hate it <laughs> and, God, and it. I hate it. that's so stupid why do we have more weights in fighting games bro like and people will be like, oh, you know, just classify them like this. Like, all the women are light. Some of the dudes are mid. Well, actually, no, some, one or two of them are, like, light, I think. One yeah. Th- and then the rest are, like, mid. Then there's, like, heavy. Then there's super heavy. And then there's, like, oh, yeah, they're, su- they're super heavy characters. Uh <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to the weight table because I always forget. I know all I know is that uh what's his face uh potemkin and robokai are slightly different but can be the same character yeah like robokai's he- he's less heavier than potemkin but he's still heavier than like uh all right hold on i got this all right oh, thank you all right robo robokai and potemkin are are different by one unit of whatever weight is jesus like 0.01 unit of whatever weight is man uh and then the lightest characters are um bike and bridget jam cliff may and then dizzy exists underneath with all the other ones like dizzy eno milia the the other characters that we think to be light all right are we sending in joe by the president yo joe where's my next check uh, i'm coming <laughs> I know I have a job, but I, I can still use more recovery money, fam. I mean, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, hey, he's, he's doing... Chip he's, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. This is the other side of the Dizzy coin, right? The character with very poor defensive options, very low effective health. And versus a character who just... Fat. <laughs> fast as an F boy. Yeah, uh, super fast, has incredible maneuverability, has a DP to get out of their own pressure. Whoa! Oh my god, he is going in! Oh, wait, wait, again, Rosan's broken! <laughs> Why did Jin Rosan not get affected by. Oh, he's off the screen for a few frames, right? That's that's garbage, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's striking over. That's so. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Air throw. OTG? Yes. Why the hell is Ginro? What the hell? <laughs> Ginro sounds so good. Why? <laughs> Bro, okay. it's like unpunishable in this version, I swear to God. I, I completely forgot it was that good in this version. You can just, <laughs> just do that. It's so good. Oh, God, that's infuriating. All right. Well, uh, the president came in and uh, had to take matters into her own ha- on his own hands. I would love a president to do that. Let me get more presidents who are just gonna roll their sleeves up. That 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 would be great. But first, I need my money. Where's my money, Joe? Yeah, roll your sleeves up into into my pockets. Exactly. Hand over them checks. Oh, fool's about to get his check. They said foo up. Yeah, he's gonna. It, like all it takes is for Fu to get one good read and Chip is just dead. Dead! Oh, man. Like, if it's anybody, it's Fu, right? Yeah. Like, Fu's, yeah. Fu's the type of Potemkin player to throw out something so silly, you get hit by it, and then you just die. And we say silly, like, oh, you know, that, that would never hit. But then Fu knows that, like, if I do it a little bit later than normal, it will hit. And then it does, you're like, this dude's a genius. He's a brain genius. Yeah. I should say, uh, I say weird and as a synonym for unexpected. Like, he, he just, he is, knows how to use his options in, like, really, really weird ways. Uh, and it makes it so that, like, the opponent's never expecting it. But it's Potemkin, so it's like he hits you three times and you die. Uh, however, this matchup is still, like... It's a tightrope, but it's not good still. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's just moving. <laughs> but he has only taken like a third of the oh, ah! no. oh my god. Oh, no. Immediate He's... gold burst. <laughs> you need that burst. Well, you'll, the... you'll see in a sec. Here it is. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh no. He's doing it. I mean, all this jumping around is cool. God, he's play. just flipping! He's, He's just doing, doing flippy stuff. Oh, cross up jump H. No confirm. He's coming. Who's? He's coming. Oh my god. Oh, he hits in the front throw. Okay. OTG. 
Tries to get food to techno. Good. Oh god, help. Who still has Oh uh, no. He's not dead. He's not dead. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, as long as you can keep up that kite movement without making any mistakes, you're fine. The second you make one mistake, you're dead. Yeah, that's there is there is a a huge factor in the way that this matchup gets played, which is that constantly crossing up means that you constantly lose charge. And that's generally what you're looking for here. The worst thing that uh, the worst thing that Chip has to deal with is Hammerfall, because you'll have to cancel into something. Um, and so as long as you're like constantly flipping like left to right and, and switching up positions, uh, it's he's never gonna have that opportunity. That's basically why you're seeing like the, the absurdly erratic pressure that you're seeing from Joe Biden is that like Ooh. he's making it so it's like you never have you never have hammer fall charge. You're gonna have to hit me clean, and that's super hard. And he just took down Fu just like that because yep. constantly moving doesn't give Fu a chance to figure out where he's going to land or what attack he's whiffing. And he never gets that uh, Hammerfall charge like you said earlier. So Fu kind of didn't get his bearings in order fast enough. And because it's one game, you're just like, oh, no, I don't get to get the run back. <laughs> he's always <laughs> he's always one hit away from winning the that's the funny thing is that he is one two eight read until you're you're entirely dead. You're dead, yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw Raekwon do that a couple of times, and I was just like, hmm, okay, that's 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 cool, that's cool. <sighs> All right, well, we get a second uh, and get the get next opponent up for Joe Biden. I want to let you guys know that it was put on uh, a, a large part because of the efforts of Follow the Abyss. And uh, just to as like a goal for the stream, we're looking for hopefully to have 25 subs by the end of the day uh, or by the end of the stream, I should say. And if we are lucky enough to get to 25 uh, subs by the end of the day, hopefully uh, we will be able to run another 25v25 in uh, three months uh, with date notwithstanding but if we get to 25 subs or we get to do that if we get to 50 subs uh they're going to organize a 25 v 25 all japanese uh tournament which will be mega sick uh so those are that's like those are the stretch goals and those are ways you can say thank you to follow the abyss who have been, put this on for us uh, you can also say thank you to the players by uh, putting a little bit in the matcherino. There's no code or anything like that because that's for, you know, like other big streamers uh, and the guys who like have that all set up and stuff. Mm. Mm. Oh, my bad. This is an exhibition. All right. I was going to say, I was like, damn, they, they have that many high level players who, who play, who net play like that? Because I don't think a lot of them net play. I, not a lot of them, but I mean, I don't know. Anything's possible with rollback. It's true. Uh, and I, I don't know about you, like, I, at least maybe because I'm on the West Coast, so it happens more often, but I've ran into like a lot of Japanese players on net play. Uh, uh, and not so much on my side, mostly because like the time, you know, the yeah. times I play are, they don't sync up with the times when JP would either play super late or like in the middle of the day. So I would say West Coast is more prevalent to get those players. Yeah, definitely. Like you play, if you play late at night here, then you're, you're getting like midday over in Japan. So it, it happens more often. What's but that? yeah. Joe! Joe! I, I, I'm super excited because Joe was a, a super duper strong player and a guy I got to play with a lot. I say play, I mean he trashed me quite a bit, but like uh, he was he was definitely like one of the funnest players to play against. He's just a super super fun guy to watch play, and in the the classic red as he were. All right, Joe, the funny thing is that Joe Biden hasn't been hit too often, but he's lost so much life. Yeah, so that's like a weirder aspect of this is that Johnny hits like a truck. He is oh like, oh my god, this character is like 25% meter and you lose 50% of your health. And that's like doubled for Chip. So you're, you're just looking to get that one clean hit. 
And uh, Miss Finers are way better than for that than, you know, let's say like the Tamkin, who has to risk way more to do it. Ooh, Ooh nice walk on a Sanga. Walks an instant overhead. But Vibite is still down a lot, even considering that he's been mo he hasn't been moving as much versus Joe as he was against Fu, but it's right. probably because he doesn't want to get countered hit by something silly because, you know, <gasps> he's a little bit more mobile. That burst <sighs> wasn't great. Gin rolls on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he with Gin Rose on. Let I'm I'm gonna jump. I'm safe. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> oh man, imagine like just the like. Oh, I, I I'm I'm done talking about Gin Rose on. Sorry, I'm going. I just it's what a great move. All oh, right, dumb gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lamau. <laughs> hey Lamau. Hey, oh, Tekken the immediate throw, single hit. Oh, hey, 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 DP's out. Yeah, get me out. Oh no, confirm with 5k. Let's go. Look at that damage. That was a basic confirm and it did like half his HP at that point. Yeah. Oof, knockdown. Time to do this. Oof. Oh. Ooh, sends him the other way. Coin gets the hit. Oh, oh no. there you go. That's a terrible burst too. Entirely whiffed, so he has no burst bar for this last part. I. Oh. As long as he didn't eat a bad hit, he's okay, but... <laughs> okay. Kill to gear throws? My man did 6k and just air through my wake up. It's like, it's like, get that out of here. You know how long I've been playing this game? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. It's oh, okay. he it saved it. Yeah. Ooh, he jumped either. Oh, my God. Wait, where's... Why is there a wall to cling to up there? Hello? I mean, technically, it's still a wall. It's just really high up, but he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Yo, Joe. All right, that's what I like to see. Wait, what's, what's even the score? Joe, not Biden. J -O, what is not, not yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, having discrepancies with Joe's. Oh man. Uh, I believe uh, Elvin is at four, and Skeletal is at seven. Ooh. Ooh. I should put a tally. I should put tallies up here. Hold on. I should have had this written down myself, but I I I have it in a very nice uh paint window. Uh, where it looks like I drew all over this with crayon. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I'm, great. I, I mean, it's paint though. Yeah, it's paint. Oh, this isn't enough allegory. Okay. So it is Haas versus Johnny. Please select your character. Haas versus Johnny. Man, we have, so we don't actually get to see like a lot of Johnny players as well. The character is like weirdly technical in this version of this game. Uh, there's like two huge aspects that go into that. One is coin management. You don't actually just get the dump coins in this version of the game because you don't want level three. You mostly want level two. Right. Uh, and level two is not only the most effective for the amount of damage that you want, it sets up for the nicest combos. Right. Um, and then the secondary thing is that there's a lot of like really dirty stuff that once you get perfect is really, really nasty uh, with single hit and Sengas and being able to set up for Bakasai unblockables that some characters just have zero way to deal with. Uh -huh. So if you can get that stuff down, like this character becomes a monster outside of the uh, Bakasai unblockables, the, the mechanics of dealing with just single hit stuff allows you to pop up for combos like that. As you can see, like 50% real quick, even on Haas. He's not dead. Oh, that was close. All right, Allegar has one last chance. No dead angle. Hey. Mm. Let's kill a Joker, right? The... Uh... Like the, the flip into the, to the jump. The, uh, the air slash move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just like, oh, that, that move looks mad cool. It has a cool name, too. That's, it's really, it's rare that you get a cool looking move and a cool name. Oh, no, he's died. He said help. Oh, early, not early, but he's about to die. Mm. Jesus. Johnny does damage. Instant Senga. Red. Stay there. Ooh, Algar's not getting a chance to play it. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, same side. <gasps> Oh no! All right, wasn't able to get the knockdown. Hey, second hit. That's three H, right? That hits like that twice. Uh, is that two H or three H? I totally forgot. Oh, 
because I know two H is the one where like he slashes. Uh, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Because two H is the is the the weird five frame heavy slash move. Yep. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, three H randomly hits in the air like that. I'm like, why? I'm like it hits on the ground it's first. Why just... is it hitting me in the air? You imagine you imagine seeing a footsie button and being like, I'm gonna jump over it, and then all of a sudden it just slaps you in the back of the head. And then you're like, oh yes, <laughs> T- take fifty percent of my life. That's cool. Three H is is a w- very weird button, but very useful in what it's used for. Yeah, the I I really like this version of Johnny. Um, he's got some dirt. Uh, but he also has to think a lot about how he approaches. Uh, he can't really throw out coins for free because there's no way to get coins back like there is an Ixard. Um, but his coins are per coin more valuable because you can set up for getting level two misfiners over and over again instead of having to go for level threes, uh, which is really cool. I don't know. Have you seen Exer Johnny? He 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 has a he has a super where he gets yeah, two coins back. Yeah, I mean you also don't just like knock down double coin, you know, oh, and yeah. win the win the game. So there there is that too. Ooh. All right. All right. Is it B brother? Yeah, B brother. I think. All right. All right. Zappa versus Johnny. Uh, I generally say Johnny has an okay time probably dealing with most of the summons outside of Ghost. Oh God, it's happening. Yeah, Ghost is a pain because of his poor movement, but other than that, like, Dog isn't actually the worst. You just don't want, like, it's like the same thing where it's like you just don't want to deal with it while you're knocked down, but in neutral, it's not so bad. Hey, uh, 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 and Senga, let him tech. (laughs) All right, just raw misfinder. Okay. Oh, misfinder. It's like, are you blocking alone? No? Alright, cool, thanks. Which is one you'll have to go for, actually, because Zappa will crawl under the rest of them. Yes. It's so annoying. But, uh, yeah, you'll you'll see low finer way more. Uh, thankfully enough for Johnny, that's the combo one. So, it works out either both ways. Uh, but it is Ooh. what it is. Woo, Joker, switch sides. Oh, it's tagged by sword. Uh, I got OTG, dude. Yeah. Wait, that, wait, uh, Johnny Fart has this hit Zappa? Okay, that, that's unfortunate. He's kind of crouches under that normal. We'll confirm afterward, back to sword. Nice, gets a hit, tech forward, run in oh, there, no. jump H is a good button. Oh. Ooh, he tags dog. All right, I row. Oh no! Oh, no. What was that? Oh my god, yeah, why? Super, there, there it is. There, 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 there. Okay. Did he not hit? It, it, it like barely hit. Okay. Oh, bonk. It's okay because, you know. <laughs> That's the electric bonk. It is. It's pretty good. Knockdown. OTG. Dog. Let's go. Oh my god. He tried to throw that. Uh, 2H again. Gets yeah. Nice. Three. Nice 2H mash. Gets out of the corner as well now. So he's switching it up. Zap has meter. Knockdown. Tried to summon. Good timing on the burst to negate that. All right, ghost are out. Oh, tag zap, but doesn't have to do a ghost anymore. Let's just run up to the TG. Get some extra damage to sword. Yes, leaves the sword there that time. Ah. Trying to read the tech forward. Dun, dun, dun. RC. One more time. Leaves the sword there again. Yeah, he tried the air throw. That was a great read. Level three finer. That's generally why you don't whine it. Oh, he actually avoided Caterpillar. There it is. Oh, he OTG'd afterwards with the Rose Rose Summon DP. Yeah. Good stuff to Killer B. Big win. B brother. I don't know why I said Killer B. B's in the name and I said Killer B for some reason. (laughs) Because Killer B's sick. Too much Naruto. Oh no, you added yourself. Whew. All right. Right. What's the Sammy, help me with the score because I don't have a I don't have a sheet in front of me because I'm not a professional commentator. I'm not a professional commentator. Do you, if you look if you're a look at what I'm looking at right now, you would think Bro, you I have mean, names I, in front of you. I I, have, I am names. either a child or <laughs> An inept adult. Oh, yeah, or an inept adult. And, you know, <laughs> depending on who you ask, that might be the same thing. Right. Uh, 
it looks i think it's five to eight right now or eight to five for skeletal minions team okay okay uh what's it called <clears throat> while everyone's here there's the Maturino's now up to 130 dollars and we're also one one i mean we're 21 subs away from the next sub goal so in case you guys have any incentive to sub to tronzilla's cha channel just click on that button down there next to follow it says subscribe you know five dollars a month or if you have amazon prime just go ahead and use that amazon prime it's free because you know a lot of people don't realize they have it just go ahead and click on it and i'm being told we also have names of the players on the screen i will look that in the second once i'm done doing my proper diligence and making sure everyone goes to the match reno if there are any codes make sure you use those up i don't know what the code is but i'm pretty sure there are sponsor quests that are on the right side where all you have to do is just click retweet yeah. you don't even have to like subscribe to them you just click retweet and it adds free money in there that's crazy free money so yeah go ahead and do that real quick and we'll be waiting for the next player to go up against the uh, b brother oh yeah thank you to oat sam for the prime sub like you were saying uh you know all the subs help us go towards our, our sort of in-house stretch goal of trying to get to 25 subs. And you can sub as just a, a thank you for the guys that follow the Abyss who put this on and, and organized it. So i say a big thanks to them uh, for doing all of that. So we, get, um, so we got Zappa. So, oh, there you go. Loher, Loger. All right. Well, while while we you. were waiting for Team uh, Elven Shadow to send up the next yeah. set of players, hopefully, what they're doing is they just have like a queue lined up so they can't just like go one by one and be like, oh, you know, let's take two minutes to do this. Here's this. Let's take two minutes to do this. Here's this. Because that, that is kind of lengthy. And, and unless you're trying to, oh, AJ, sorry. Never mind. Oh boy. I, I was gonna have this whole spiel about you know slowing down players by like uh taking time to discuss who you send up next, but then you're just like, alright, here you go. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, this will be J Jay's uh just an incredible player, so hey, I, I expect hey, commentary. A room crashed. I'm just gonna have to restart or something. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds okay, good. Alright, no problem. Alright, room crash, we're gonna talk a little bit more. Hey, there we go. It's nice when the players let us know what's going on. Okay, it's like a lodger. All right, lodger. I wanted to say, I effectively say thank you for the for the subs. I appreciate it. And Yai Bell, thank you for the sub, man. Like I said, any all of these subs get to go forward to having another one of these 25 to 30 watt, 25 to 25 is later on. And uh, these are super fun. I always, um, I'm always, I was always really, really jealous of Japan having these like really cool formats for tournaments, like 3v3, same characters, or like 5v5 tournaments, right? Uh, and I feel like that's like way more possible now that we have rollback and something I'd look forward to in the future, even after like we sort of start slowing down on, on playing online plus R because we'll be out and having, you know, actual locals. Uh, which will be crazy. Uh, but it was more like, you know, now now that we have this, we can like come back around every now and then and have these wonderful like 25v25 tournaments or run like an all online team tournament or something like that. Like all of these would be like, that's just all possible now for this game, which is really cool. But you know what else would be cool? Having this in person when we can again and yelling like idiots yeah that's true like i can't wait actually for the first uh offline plus r tournament like where we're all at because that's gonna be a uh, such a sick tournament because all of these guys have been playing plus r like since we got ggpo mm -hmm. so a so, lot of people got really good yeah there's even some people who don't play who play online but they don't play in tournaments because they're just like oh you know just trying to play to get better and those people usually have been grinding for a while and they're just like, oh, I'll just wait till, you know, offline comes back. I, I want to, like, see people in person. There are people who prefer, like, the person-to-person -person interactions. So sometimes those players don't get their due shine. And then mm. when they show up out of nowhere, they're just like, wait, I heard of you on Netplay. Why don't you enter any tournaments? They're like, I just do want to play Netplay tournaments. It's like, oh, that's fair. 
What's crazy too is that because of the weird situation of having a previous game get a uh, rollback netcode, um, it is also like this really weird situation of having older players come back to the game and newer players go back to the game. Yeah. Sorry, I should say older players returning back to the game that they used to play and newer players going back a game to play an older oh, version okay. of the game. That's right, what I, I mean. What you're saying. They're not a, the most current version. Yeah, I should be more specific. Like guys like Raekwon who have like didn't play uh at least you know didn't play exert for the length of its lifespan uh in terms of like tournaments right mm -hmm. um coming back and being able to play because he can do this online and then we have guys like mini matt uh right. who he... picked up the game and are is super duper good like yeah. he's incredible he's like i play cliff i fly around we yeah, and he, he's just really taken to the game in a huge way, um, which is really cool because I feel like a lot of people might have been afraid to play against like what we'd consider to be like the old best players like DW and Jace and uh, all those guys are like all both so, so good, like Hano, right? Yeah, but um, but we've seen you... a lot of sorry, go for it. No, 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 because like, because you were probably going there too. Like, there's a lot of newer play, quote unquote, newer players who have played who played the version ahead of it, who came back to this and were just like, yeah, this seems pretty fun. Like, I have enough general guilty gear knowledge to be able to play this without having too much of a struggle. It's just character matchups and changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you got characters like Bridget on the screen. All right, getting into this one, Bridget versus Zappa. Generally speaking, it feels like Bridget has to like sort of pick her moments or pick his moments as he goes in. Uh, but has the way like as long as it's not ghost, which is a huge pain in the butt, you can kind of stall quite frequently, which is really nice. Like yes. it means you can sort of approach the way that you want to. Because ghost hit at the angle that Bridget is mostly known for flying around. Like you see, like that. If that was ghost, he he would not be able to stall like that look at that right how are you supposed to get that yo yo boy up from up there but then it's like a ghost comes from the top of the screen and knocks you down with a potted plant and you're like oh i see yeah but like if it's sword like it is now like as long as you're not getting comboed by it and you can you know eventually block it out jump out send roger like as long as that's happening like you're pretty content here oh all right immediate, immediate burst after getting hit that one time and it looks like Jason wants to try to keep Big Brother in the corner, but Big Brother gets out pretty clean. No dead angle. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you Aye. later. Aye. Earns the burst. Nice punish as well. Gonna try to send Roger after him. Trying to keep him locked down. Nice throw to the corner. Sets up the sword very nicely. Ooh, nice defense. All right. So Jace has a life lead. Might try to stall. There's 18 seconds left. As long as you don't get mixed by sword, you're good. Oh, bye. Later. Bye. Yeah, Jace's defense is actually <gasps> the reason why he's winning. Woo! Mechanical disaster! Or maintenance disaster, sorry. Four seconds, bye. One second, bye. <laughs> Still oh have a life lead. There Wait it here. is. Yo, the maintenance disaster to save the game? That was sick. And that's another thing about setting up Jace now is that a lot of people probably don't know how to combat Bridget. Too high effectiveness to try to get a life lead and make sure that Jace can't do the same to you and just like lay me out if you have no way of dealing with Bridget right. like that. Oh, traded with kickstart, switches the sword. Oh no, got hit out of the air. Nice, try to get as much damage as you can there with the FRC, but you'll settle ah. for that. Force break Jagged Roger, forcing B Hunter to go back a little bit. And you can see B Hunter is doing a really good job of making sure not to interact with the Roger that slides on the ground, so. There's no chance of B Hunter getting hit by that and be like, whoops. Yeah. But what's really nice about uh, doing sword things out of the air is that it stalls you for some reason. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it gives you, it does give you that ability where you have the, you have the nice ability for you to stall out of the air, not worry about Roger sliding on the floor. Ah, this Roger with knives. Who gave Roger knives? Stop. 
All right, gets sword again. Jace will be pretty happy, but he's going to have to press a little bit. There's only 25 seconds left. Ah! All right, knockdown. Time to go in. Oh, mix up. Nice. Nice block. Same side. Doesn't block the overhead. Oh, no. My caterpillar and... <gasps> no, hey. He's just crazy. He just ran forward with Rao out there. Just like, I'm going to run forward. <laughs> he had nothing. He, had, he couldn't do anything. Like, Rao does so much chip that he actually had to avoid everything. He felt like the best option was to run underneath. Ah, playing. Ah, yeah. playing again. And that's what we were talking about earlier. As long as uh, Bridget is cursed, uh, he has to watch out for the falling plant from the top of the screen because it doesn't matter where you are. That, that plant's going to follow you. Yeah, and you can see B's just playing perfect, like, run away. He, he does not care about whatever happens. Like, as long as he is backing up and relaxing, I think he got a negative penalty. Uh, it doesn't matter. He it right <laughs> it, it, yeah, he really doesn't need it anyway. Like, this is the perfect game plan for Zap, which is making sure Ghosts do all their jobs. Even even though he lost Ghosts, it's okay because he has a life lead. Jace decided to burst. Ooh, now we're back to Sword. Uh, wait, he, how do you get Ghosts again? Hello? How do you get Sword? Hello? On hit RNG summon, I think. Oh god. Hey. <laughs> that the it played it perfectly. B played it perfectly. Like that's all yeah. you have to say about that. Yeah, he won RNG like four times in a row there. I mean, you know, like that's playing the game. That's playing perfectly. If <laughs> I didn't say play perfectly excluding summons i said perfectly oh yeah like being able to avoid bridget get the life lead making sure he doesn't have to go in when he doesn't need to that that's that's fine that's no problem it's just that like he got hit like four separate times and he got like ghost sword ghost sword and i was like what did he get dog more than once uh i don't think so in the same it, round no and not and not at any point that actually mattered because it was basically just sword and ghost, but mm -hmm. yeah, though that, that, that what's really good is that B was able to understand how to approach playing against Jason, like you know, not overextend himself. He was just like, relax, throw ghost. I don't care what happens as long as I'm recovering ghost before Jace gets actions again. I'm pretty content. Yes. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, oh, this is a boy. So this is a pretty interesting way to approach this. Uh, we're going to send Klage up, right? And that's because Klage actually plays against Kenji, against mm -hmm. KB Nova quite a bit. So he'll know the matchup, even if you don't think the matchup's phenomenal. Um, you do have, he do have somebody who has experience in the, in the matchup specifically. So that might be a good way to approach it here. All right, let's go. Oh, oh my God. Go. What? Yep, got, got knocked down by Spit, got sword. <gasps> Fusion. Hey, hey, knocked down. Nice. Oh, all right. butterfly set up. It's fine. As long as the butterfly keeps Zappa near the corner, that's all we care about. Fusion. Fusion, Nagaha. Took a risk on the Nagaha. Didn't get punished too hard for it. Rin! Oh, no. It's nice time. cross under from B, keeping the corner there after the tech forward. Oh, Clay chose the wind to jump out. Butterfly summon, cross up. He yeah, just you wants think... the corner position. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry, he used the K-stop in order to take corner positioning so that he can make sure to keep that backwards mo movement away from them. On, this is going to set up unblockable. No, not going to go for it just yet because he waited for the dead angle. Great read from Clay. He was like, no worries, no point in setting it up. He's going to dead angle anyway. Okay, all right. So I would say Clay has enough experience in fighting the Woo! top tiers of the game to understand how he's supposed to approach. It's just really like a momentum based thing for him. Ooh, nice oh, right, blocked. Woo! All right, Rin gets back in using fanta fantastic use of that super jump motion. Ooh, all right, doesn't get punished. It's cool. Lost sword. Uh, gets tagged, but B, uh, B brother used 50 meter. So Clay is kind of okay just not to approach too quickly, but he goes right in. That's supposed to be a. <laughs> that was supposed to be a taunt right? and not a not respect. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's part of his plan. It's part of his plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk about that in a second. All right, using the burst kind of early in his life bar because he just wants to keep momentum there. Yeah, the classic. 
<laughs> Do it again! Oh no, got thrown for his troubles. Oh, he might, he might have tried to fusion. He might try to fusion here. Yeah, there it is. That's why I got rid of the dog. But back oh. to sword. Oh. Super jumps over. K stomp. Clay's taking it over B. Stops the bleeding. I can't believe they let my favorite Castlevania speedrunner play in a 25 to 25. <laughs> That's facts. I can't believe it. So, uh, for for those who don't know, there's this really, really weird uh, thing that Anji gets to do that other characters don't uh, because Anji's taunt is him slapping his fan on the top of his head. And funnily enough, that the first couple frames of that uh, of the taunt look eerily similar to his overhead. So what you do is the idea is that you do ta run up taunt and then you cancel the taunt into a low. Uh, and it's it's like kind of like a little bit of an extra mix up in a way that other characters don't get super cool because a lot of characters don't get to use their taunt outside of Cliff, who has like, you know, an effective taunt that is a projectile. But uh, yeah. Oh, I should say, yes. When I say taunt and respect, uh, Guilty Gear has two different taunts, quote unquote. Taunt is neutral, um, neutral taunt, and then uh, forward taunt is respect, which is a different taunt. Because I know people are like, <laughs> but does, doesn't respect equal taunt? And it's like, like it's it's in a weird, um, it's in a weird amalgamation of like the character says something completely different when they do the respect as opposed to the taunt. I believe some yeah. characters are different. I might be mistaken because I haven't, like, done the lore and sitting there and listening to everyone's taunts and respects. Alright. Anyway. Please, so, uh... Do we have a... Oh, we have Robokai? We have Dr. Jimbo? Alright, let's go. I don't... I imagine slide is a pain in the butt, but I don't exactly know. I haven't seen like too much of this. Yeah, I actually don't see a lot of Anji versus Robokai. Robokai probably considered like on on one of the few characters actually considered to be like at the bottom bottom end. Um, it's it's weird considering he got like a, he got like a bunch of buffs, but it's just like he got really lot. really good buffs too. Like uh, he got like Yuzansen. You got the Yozansen idea of having an instant overhead through DP uh, sort of thing. Oh. Almost already oh, hit it. Oh, nice. Interesting. Is... Wait, he doesn't have a burst. He has, like, zero burst. Help! Ooh. Help! Nice. No! Hey! You can't do that versus Anji. I got Force Breaker in. Nice. Keep him locked down. I'm sure that crossed up. I'm going to assume that crossed up. I'm sure that crossed up. Oh, stop. Uh, uh. Late tech forward. All right, Clay just gets, gets knocked down. Gold burst. I actually love how Clay just bursting. It's like almost entirely momentum. Yes. Uh, but that's like the play style that he goes for. He, he really goes to loop these situations into one after another. He is playing neutral exactly once, and then the rest of it should be you dealing with uh, Fujin nonsense. Like right there. Yeah, exactly. Because as soon as you feel like you're getting out, you're dealing with Fujin. Look, right like, there. as soon as you feel like you're getting out. One more time. Nagaha goes for the chip. Fujin, one more yeah. time. And Fujin, I know a lot of people are like, like, oh, Anji has, he has a horizontal moving DP. How do I deal with this move? And it's like, you, you just have to know that once he does, once you block the first part being Fujin, most of the follow-ups get beat by lows or you just like wait it out and you punish it right you space it correctly but i know a lot of people are just like but what if i'm doing a move and the fujin comes out it's just like 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 to be better just to be better, <laughs> be better. 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 oh yeah bill thank you for the gifted subs man i appreciate <laughs> it we're working our way towards our goal of 25 subs uh as we said earlier in the broadcast, and if we do get to 25 subs, we have, uh, we're going to run another 25v25 later on in the year. So, as you guys want to say a little thank you to the guys at Follow the Abyss who put this nice 25v25 on for us, you can do a little sub. Uh, if you have a Prime sub, throw that in there. 
Uh, and if we get to 50 subs as a stretch goal, we are going to run a exhibition, an all Japanese exhibition, yes. uh, which will be really fun because there's a lot of fantastic players over there who are still playing the game. So I uh, appreciate all of that. If you guys want to donate a little bit to the match arena, we also have that. The, that will go to the players. And uh, we will also heavily appreciate that. There's no code or anything, uh, but there are sponsor quests on the side for you to throw in a little bit of free cash in there. So first off, thank you guys all for joining us. This has been a lot of fun so far as we got into this. I'm going to forget who uh, to cross out. Dr. Dr. Jimbo, that's what we're crossing out. Okay. As right. we bring up Quash, Quash versus Clage. This will be pretty interesting. Like it, like uh, Fox said before, you're gonna have to crutch on some good lows uh, in order to beat Fusion quite often. So it's going to be up to Quash in order to force that. He has to basically make sure that Clage is being or that make sure that Anji has to deal with the uh, the lows first. He can't just Fusion for free. And while we're talking, uh, Clay's trying to burst for momentum once again. Oh no, he wishes he had a burst now. Wait, he's, he's okay, it's fine. Yeah, I dropped the combo. Woo, woo, we're in. Big character, so we get that nice loop in the in the middle of the screen. Or back against the wall, actually. Oh, fam, that's not the unblockable. Why'd you try to jump? <laughs> like, like I, like, I saw him standing up and it's like, fam, he, he was, that wasn't red, it's blue. Primary colors. Right. All right, OTG uh, on the Ren hit, so wasn't able to get the combo. Nice chicken guard as well. Hey, Woo! Hey, the yeah, All super right. nice that John G Johnny's a big hitbox, so you're able to get the on uh, routinely off the Force or uh, Fujin. Woo, let's go! Let's go! One time. Woo! Yeah, that is super nice, because if you don't know, on sets up for Butterfly legit perfectly. So that means that every time you get a, a Fujin and you have meter, you have the ability to uh, go for a better than normal for, uh, butterfly setup. All right, all right, I'm gonna be biased. Let's go, Clayt. <laughs> Let's go, Clayt. Let's go. Oh, he's he's actually getting in there though. Like, ah, uh, for bro. real? Oh, that's oh my god. P stop he... back to the other side. He's actually mauling. Bro, he he's can't block mauling. stomp. He can't block Fujin. What can he block? <laughs> He's gonna do it again. Watch. He's gonna do it again. Ah, oh, and it's Senga. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Check, 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 it, check it out. Yeah. Of course, he's he's just bullying him with Fujin. My favorite Castlevania speedrunner. <laughs> Yo, he's speedrunning the competition right now. That That's was crazy. That's what I like to see. Let's go, Clage. Woo! <laughs> Is Skyball gonna give uh, a number of wins sub every time <laughs> Clage wins? Because uh, Yaibel might be a uh, a Clage, a Clage, uh, like might be part of Clage's stream, so they might just be like, every time Clage wins, here you go, here you go, here's some subs. Oh my! That that's my that's my streamer, that's my streamer. Uh, I I understand Yaibel. I am also a Clage aficionado, so I uh, I I understand that tremendously. As he is, he is. He did this in the last 25v25, by the way. He went on a four win run, five was, win run, something like that. It was either three or four. I can't remember offhand because it was a while ago, but he did put in some work. <laughs> That's right. Fujin goes in the circle. <laughs> 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 oh man, it, it kills me. <laughs> All right, here's Fujin. Where does it go? That's right, it goes in the Oki hole. That's right. <laughs> here's Fujin. Where does it go? That's right, it goes up in the wake up hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fusion, it goes in the combo tool hole. Oh, what a uh, great move! <laughs> oh, that's what a great move. Uh, I love, yeah. I, I love Anji as a character. He's just, yeah, he makes everybody mad. He makes everybody so mad. He's not even that good. Well, he's good, but he's, he's good. like not, he's not like a broken character. I like yeah. compared 
comparatively to the top tiers. Like Biken. Like people people look at Anji and they look at Biken, they're like, this character can get out of block streams by doing stuff out of block, and this character just has auto guard stuff. I hate the auto guard. It's like what? I hate the uh I hate having to do things that I didn't do in the previous game. <laughs> That's basically what I hear for people. That's true. I'm, I'm honestly like, this goes back to my theory that people just hate forward moving specials. <laughs> That's that's like my th I look at people like trash on certain characters like Slayer and Soul and like I just go yeah you just hate forward moving specials that just has to be it yeah oh, okay we got justice I hate this character uh, <laughs> and I have to say that because I'm on John Street <laughs> oh. uh, so Anji actually deals with the character not too bad. He has a good super jump arc to deal with it. Uh, once he gets Justice knocked down, Justice Justice's uh, big hitbox actually makes it really difficult for her to get away from Anji. Uh, and she doesn't have great punishes or great ways to deal with uh, Fujin follow-ups. So it is, it is a lot of defensive play uh, from the Justice. So it is really about how, how they approach sort of neutral for the most part. Nice blocking though from Justice. And this is where it becomes hard because like jumping over the bombs, yeah, usually gets you air thrown or just gets an anti-air or a standing counter. Oh yeah. my god, what's happening? Nice adjustment with the back dash too. That was sick. Oh, it's oh, time. Oh no. It, it's time. Don't oh, poorly. Look at that. You're just like the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you might be... Oh my god. You might be cool and you might throw bombs while you're standing, but when you're on the floor, you are just like the rest. Whew. Whew. Bro, Fujin is so- Oh my god, he tried to murder Justice. Alright, back to full screen. Oh. Nice read. Okay. Yep, good air to air, knowing that Clay just tried to jump over the bomb. Doesn't get the knockdown that Justice wanted. Woo, we Fujin in there. Alright, keep him locked down. Trying to make a read on the defensive option, I think. I might have failed the TK orb. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Whoa! That is definitely like a, a sometimes food for for Clay. He doesn't usually go to like a, a high low mix up too often. He usually focuses on keeping pressure with Fusion and butterflies. Whew. All right, time to time to get through the obstacle course. Nice defense first goes in there. Nice FRC. Just making a read on Clay, trying to bust out at that moment. Oh, yeah. what's happening? Force break uh, auto guard. Oh, you see it so little, but that was like the perfect time to do it. Nice, uh -oh. Nishiki knocked down. Time to die. <laughs> what high level? I'm just gonna throw you. It's gonna chuck you. Yeah, that's uh, like you normally you would think like from uh, a, like if you look at the characters normally, you're just like, oh, Anji struggles to get it because he has to like force his way in, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um, but. Generally speaking, like if you play that pretty calmly, you just wait for your moment. That super jump arc is just like it's so 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 good to get in because it just has the perfect speed, great arc. He has a great air dash. Uh he has he has a he has an incredible way to like just force his way in and then once he gets on top of you, like justice being so big means that butterfly is so difficult to deal with. Yeah. Also, uh, I, I don't I didn't even see it because I think we passed. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, Bell, thank you for Woo! the now five subs. <laughs> Woo! Woof. Trying to we're trying to speed run to this uh, Japanese exposition, I think. Uh, exhibition, sorry. And also uh, got notes from uh, the crew themselves to shout out Dan Dan Turin for the hundred uh, dollar donation for the match arena, which is now at two thirty. So. Sweet. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. There are a lot of subs going on. What's happening? Hello? I, I know. I Does know. Does have an oil, it's all oil king? Yeah. <laughs> we got yes. any oilers in chat? I'm sorry. I'm bad at saying names. Wait, what? Uh, Dastrin? Dastrin? Uh -oh. Hey, da das why am i better i am better at all right, all right i said i said it once i said it once <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry i messed out your name <laughs> it, 
It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh trust, man. Trust us, no disrespect. We're just we're just idiots. I uh, yeah, I'm just stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you, uh, thank you for the the kind donation though. It's really is very much appreciated, and I'm sure the players will also appreciate it too. So we get into this one. I'm gonna have Davo versus Clage. I love Davo. Davo's he is cool. dude. He's such so much fun to watch as a player. Uh, but also, uh, just sort of like. Because that because the character has uh, a couple of really good lows, especially like two K meaty low, uh, it becomes kind of difficult for Anji uh, to sort of deal with wake up pressure without having to be like really creative. So it it is going to be on on Clage to focus on not getting knocked down and sort of uh, play right out outside of that dandy range and focus on meter usage because. The meter usage for Devo will be really, really important. For Dandy is going to fix up a lot of the neutral situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, yes, uh, Devo is the Slayer player. Uh, super duper good. I, I just, I love how he plays and, and approaches. Um, but yeah, like it, it is definitely going to be about like jockeying for position and and using that better positioning to leverage uh over the opponent bro i know you're saying all of this right now but all i can yeah. think about is fusion versus pile bunker that's the only thing that's on my mind right now <laughs> how many times am i gonna see fusion and how many times i'm gonna see pile bunker that's it at the end of the day that's really all that matters <laughs> We can be technical as all we want, but <laughs> at the end of the day, when that fusion hits, we're like, "Ooh, fusion!" When that pile bunker hits, we're like, "Oh my god, pile bunker!" Yeah. Listen, man. All right. <laughs> all right. You know, I gotta put myself over. All right. I gotta sit here. We gotta talk about these. We gotta talk about these characters. Be like, "All right, my name is Sammy Fish, and I am so smart. Let me tell you about these matchups." And then, not, not uh, and then afterwards, when the matchup, when they win, and I was wrong on my prediction, I go, ah, oh, well, that's exactly how it was supposed to go. That's how you commentate, all right? So, let me put myself over, and that way, uh, we we're, <laughs> we get into this one, and then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't See, know look at that. Fujin, it's Fujin. There he is. But look at that pop walker. That's that's all I'm waiting to see. Someone's gonna slip up and die. Oh, all right. Yeah, it goes for the OTG setup there. Tried to ch or did chicken guard the butterfly there, avoiding the mix up afterwards. Fans, we're still in the corner. Yeah, back dash cancel, chicken guard, side switches with the dandy. Ooh, gonna RC it to keep the pressure. K stomp. I don't even know which side that hit on. Me neither. I did see <laughs> Slayer like change direction, so that's kind of hard to tell. But we got Slayer combos. Look, look, look at him all the way to the corner. Look how nice yeah, this character is. Davo's got pretty combos. Uh -oh. Yeah, out. that's very nice read. And that's what I was talking about. Like that, that forward moving, uh, forward dandy, ex dandy is going to be so so important for the matchup. Clage knowing that played defensively there towards the end. Oh, jump K, no for him. Aye, six K early burst, keep momentum. And Travis is, uh, Clage is one of those early proponents of like, if I burst early and I do well in the round, I could probably get another one. Or if I lose the round, I still have another one to go off of. Yeah, and Anji doesn't, like, in this matchup specifically, doesn't actually need to approach too fast. He can sort of take his time. So, you know, early bursting means that he'll have more opportunities to get his burst back. All right, back in the neutral. Just, I'm just waiting for Slayer to press the Paul Bunker button. Oh! Wow, I didn't expect that from either of them. No follow up on Fujin, no follow up on Force Break Dandy. Definitely like some some level three stuff going on here. Run up P Stomp, baits the base the throw. Blech. Works out that time. Woo! Uh, Woo! Where are we going? <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, no one knew what was happening. Oh, in that man. Instance. We were just like, what? Uh, <laughs> 
Hello, Slayer from Force Break Dandy. Hello, LG <laughs> from Fujin. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, uh, ships passing in the night. Oh boy, yeah. that's a lot of subs. Yeah, yeah Bell man, relax. That's not. Jesus. That's that's not. That's not how we do. See, remember, we you had a script here, right? It's per win. You give no. that much, that many subs, right? No, they're doing it exponentially. All right. Well, that's how that's know. how it's working. I they, don't know. <laughs> they, they they went from like two, then they did five. Now it's like ten. It's just exponential amount of wins. Oh, Di does what Yai wants. I I believe that is the case. Thank you for the ten gifted subs. I believe that means we're at thirty five, thirty six. Uh, I have. I don't. I don't. Ha I don't have a counter, bro. Thirty six. Thank you, Goken. Woo! That's in one stream. That's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. It is a lot. A lot. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. It's everybody Clay. should be. Yeah, everyone should be uh, jealous that Clage has his own uh, entourage. Uh, yeah, who willing to <laughs> give out copious amounts of money at the drop of a hat to their favorite speedrunner playing in a fighting game that they learned through them for the past couple of years, hearing them talk about their exploits, and then seeing they come to fruition. They're like, "I will give." money to this other person because this person i like more all right there's one more sub from an uh, anonymous gifter thank you for that because uh, i think crazily enough yabel actually hadn't been subbed in sub. oh yeah probably yeah. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Fan, that's oh, what everyone man. should strive to when uh, uh, you you build a community when you stream you should strive to have someone who's willing to just be like, I like the content that you give, so I'm going to give X amount of money because I believe in you and what you do and you help out me and everybody because streaming is a valuable resource into giving more entertainment, usually free, but then when you realize that streamers do give uh, a lot of their time to you know, set up the stream, set up equipment, yeah. buy equipment, buy the games, buy all this stuff, then you're just like, damn, that's... That's a lot of money. Maybe here's five bucks. And then you realize over the years, like, damn, I've been with them for X amount of time. Here's a hundred. And you're like, oh, yes, this is this is nice. Feels good. Also, Clage is a nice person. You should follow yes. him. Oh, so, while we were talking, thank you, Kugi, for the five subs. It's very much go. appreciated. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh Shar Sharakona? Conta. Sharakonta. Man, I am so this is why I'm this is why I'm a bad streamer. This is why I get hired for other people's streams and don't stream myself. Hold on. Uh, Thank you. I, for... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, damn, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, man. Uh, Thank you, Tip Me. Thank you, Iron Mongret. Thank you, DPS. Thank you for all of the subs. It's very, very much appreciated. According to Goken, five more subs for the second goal, which will be an all Japanese exhibition. And uh, those guys are awesome. If you haven't accidentally ran into them to lose rank, uh, you would know. Or, or just watch them play. Oh, watch. Yeah, they're so, so good. Oh, I see me on the screen. Uh oh. Oh, no. All right. We so maybe one of those characters that does a lot of damage has a lot of mobility and her jump arcs are kind of insane oh no right yeah and and going to like ne wanting to stuff this out um that's essentially what is happening here like sending up the may may is really good versus anji because just dealing with the mix-ups is so difficult she does a ton of damage any hit is such a valuable reward her approach is almost it's extremely difficult for anji to deal with she also has uh, a command grab for some reason yeah she has a command grab which just adds to the pain all right but it's there is a chance here yeah there's no meter so oh just got hit by the mid bro i love getting hit by mids <laughs> mids 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 all right mids mids time look mid there it oh, is there it super ah uh, unfortunate I don't, I don't think he wanted butterfly there yeah, no, d definitely not. All right, so Ooh. flying back in here, round two. Clay had a decent oh, performance in the first gosh, round, almost took it. Moving. Uh, this character is so obnoxious. And then she just does all the damage when you get hit wrong. Ooh, almost picked it up. That was a very nice close S, uh, but just didn't have the ability or didn't have the range to pick it up at that moment. Woo. Just 
Profugin, relaxing. Uh, dolphin. This character. Force break dolphin. Oh, uh, yeah, that's plus unless you slash back. Yeah, yeah. Has auto guard. Yep. It's also plus, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, pressure. Again, same similar thing. Her supers are good. However, she does not have meter at this moment. So Honestly, yeah. I don't think that matters for her because she gets so much incremental meter from just doing small hits here and there and little block strings. Right. So what I mean is like when her, she's on her butt with no meter, uh oh, yeah. like that's your time to go in. And it can be frustrating fighting May because she's so fast and she's really erratic in how she Yeah. Moves. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Why is Hanu in here? What's up, man? Oops. Oops, my bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Hanu the goat. <laughs> was he in here just watching because he wanted to see it happen in real time? Is that what I happened? <laughs> God bless you, Hano. Oh man, Hano is the uh, he's the current owner of the <laughs> the global plus R. I think like I guess North America plus R Discord. He helps make sure, sure everything goes on properly in there. So if you want any information about how to play plus R, uh, local matches, local net play matches, I will say for right now, mm. or character information, you can go in there. You can find out. I don't have the link to the Discord right now, but I'm pretty sure someone can give it to you if you're looking for it. Yes, and yeah, there's a lot of good resources and other friendly people for you to help learn plus R, get better at plus R, whatever you have you. But uh, while we were talking, good stuff to to Clage, who might have single handedly gotten us to all of our uh, all of our uh, what's it called? Sub goals. All of our sub goals with his winning ways. Good job. Uh, you have a valuable member on your team. You. You win, you win a match, they sub to the channel that they're playing on. It is, yeah. Uh, he's... Yeah, I, I mean, like, you, you, you... I don't know if you can ask more from... Like, Anji specific. There's, like, in 25v25s, or I should just say, all character team tournaments in general, you sort of... There's characters that you expect to win a few. There's characters that you expect to win a lot. Like, it, it's sort of matchup dependent a character like anji that sort of doesn't tremendously win a bunch of matchups but also doesn't lose tremendously in a ton of matchups right uh you don't expect them to win that many times like i think like just pretty much like that clay's just gave team elven shadow like a huge huge boost wait is that the legendary tarkus is it I think it's a legendary Tarkus. Uh, well, I say legendary, but a lot of people might not know. But if you know who this Tar who Tarkus is, then you know a lot. You've been around for a while. <laughs> but they're currently getting mauled by Scrub Lord Zega. Oh, that's, hey. that's the high. You gotta block high there. Oh, cross up. No. It's been a very, very long time since I've heard this name. Me too. It's actually been late. Okay. Close to six, seven years. Yeah, it's been as about as a long time as I've heard Raekwon's name, which is just like now it's like anybody, anybody can come back. <laughs> it's it's crazy. But look at what look at what rollback does to people, man. That's crazy. Ooh. All right, Zeg is going ham though. Like he's. Oh, hey. oh no, that's not where you want to burst. Come Chuck him. Grab. Uh, knockdown? No knockdown. Doesn't get the last hit of that. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow! It hurts. Bonk. Heavy. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would talk about the matchup if it wasn't didn't just look like that, which is just... It, it, well, honestly, the matchup's kind of like... Uh, Venom's trying to keep May at bay for the most part by keeping, uh, doing shooting carcass raids or having ball formation so that if she tries to jump, he kind of intercepts her, keeps it, keeps her away at a certain distance. But if he gets a clean hit, he gets a knockdown. You can run whatever Oki he wants, honestly. But 
then yeah. you know you have to worry about wake up super wake up dating dead angle on block and then if she gets free then you're like oh no small pirate girl flying at me with a big anchor i'm gonna die yeah it's just so difficult to you sort of have to play like really defensively to start and then fo sort of focus on getting that knockdown and then working your way up but like the, there's so much onus on the on the Venom player to not get hit, as opposed to the May, who is just like throws her body in there and like sees what happens. Okay. Got, oh, Shadow Fox up. All right. So this character can at least contest uh, in the air, and on the ground if they make a read, they have the ability to Storm Viper and and sort and hit her out of some the pressure that other characters don't have the ability to deal with so there there is a lot of that however uh there is similar problems with sort of catching which is that this character's air movement is so good that it's going to be difficult for uh haas to keep up but if he gets a clean hit the haas doesn't have that much uh, that many problems because his yeah. damage race is pretty good oh no as i say that Oi, oh, all right, heart. all right, all right, relax, relax. Finally. We know Finally. you're good. Zega, we know you're good. It's okay. You don't have you don't have to let Shadow Fox know. We know you're good. No, just keep doing that. <laughs> keep doing that. That's what we want to see. Woo. Almost all right. got the... <gasps> oh, come blaze. Oh, almost got the loops. Gonna go like blaze the other way. <laughs> keep him in the corner. Woo. Lockhead. Oi, overhead. Knockdown. Come blaze again. Yeah. Yeah, we do it twice because we're Haas players. Bro, every Haas player does that. <laughs> You're like, what am I gonna do after this gun blaze? Another gun blaze. Yeah. Like, what yeah, what wake up gun blaze. Wait. <laughs> was, that, was that respect at the end there? Uh, no, because he didn't have 50% meter. Oh, right, right. I did that today. I felt really mean. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. You just gotta get rid of the respect button. Bro. No, I, I don't want to mash. How am I gonna pick my colors? It's true. Yeah, see? Or we're set it far away. Oh god, knocked out. I have too much of a masher, it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. god, gun blaze. You know, I never thought about the idea of just anti air gun blaze over and over again. Just send big fire pillars their way. Whoa! Whoa! He's moving. <laughs> oh, he, he tried to action charge <laughs> to, to yeah, both through the jumping. Yeah, that was all right. That's cool. I like I like that. I pop off again. No. All right. No. Being like, damn, that's close. That's close. He tried to. I I never thought about that charge charge burst in order to involve through some stuff. Is that any? Better or worse than doing DP? I don't play Haas, so I cannot tell you. Yeah, me neither. And it's something I never thought about. But I'm gonna, I'm assuming you do it because you're feeling yourself. Yeah, that's true. And you're a Haas player, so you're never not feeling yourself. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're that... always on the pinnacle of being like, I'm nice. Haas players wake up gun blazing to the bathroom. Like, they always feel like they're nice. Zega, however, is uh, trying to undo all of Clay's work here because that is three games now, I think. So, yes. So uh, maybe similarly to how Zega had to take out Clay's, we we are getting to that point where uh, the rest of the players are going to be people you have seen get into, like, top eights of the tournaments. Um, like, you know, I I'm looking at, like, let's say looking at um, Team Elven Shadow here. Players left include, like, Wukash, Hellsap, Minimat, Fiesta Mint. Wait, that team's uh, not fair. What the hell? Yeah, right? I mean, you know, you look at the other side, though, and then you have, like, Isaac, Blitz, Skeletal, Purify, Hano. Okay, that, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah. See, see. There's, there's no, there's no fairness left. 
Like we are getting <laughs> to that point where it is joining to be sluggers versus sluggers. I, I like that statement. There's no fairness left. There is no fairness left. Like I would say the most fairness left is like beautiful dude still in this tournament. And he is plays the most unfair type of Eddie. That's Scum true. Scumbag looked at exhaustion day one and went, yup, that's my <laughs> shit. That's me. That's, that's me. Uh, why, why would I let you play neutral when I could just do more mix-ups? Mm -hmm. Th people think too much about like, oh, I need to do the m as much damage as possible in one instance. It's like, no, what if you could always have mix-ups? Ju Julian legit wants to play neutral once. I would rather hit you a thousand times and play neutral once than play neutral twice and hit you one time more. You see, because if you have to play neutral twice, there's a chance you might not get the second time. But if you get the one time, you're in. You got it. You can... It's... I think it's impossible to never win neutral once. That's how I think of it. You have a burst. It's true. You have a burst. But if you take the burst... Are you with me? You take the burst. Yes. All right. I, I, uh, this is for, uh, Strive. Strive 2.0. This is the mechanic now. If uh -oh. you, you get the throw, throw, burst throws are back. However, uh -huh. if you throw the opponent's burst, you take their burst. Like, actually take it. It's yours. That'd now. be, all right. That's pretty sick. That, that's pretty Right. Funny. So if you don't have a burst, you get your burst back. What if you already have a burst? If you have a burst, you get a double burst. All right, you need to slow down. <laughs> no, think about it, right? Think about, like, one big burst. One, a bigger yeah. burst? Yeah, just, like, a crazy, like, a burst that just covers, like, you gold burst, and it just covers the whole screen. No, your burst is always a gold burst, no matter what, and it covers the screen. All right. And doesn't, all right, on top of which, if they block it, you still get the meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, I hire me. Like I'm just <laughs> like I'm full of these ideas. Alright. The next version, we're gonna have another RC. It's gonna be called Rainbow RC. Uh -oh. It's hundred it costs all of your tension, but it does all of the RCs at the same time. Don't so, ask me why that's useful, it'd just be funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it, 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 it doesn't need to be useful. It just needs to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow RC is just like Baroque from TVC. Yeah, exactly. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, everybody gets that that weird install that uh, that uh, Giovanna has. With the green? Yeah, everybody turns green. Or they turn into their respective favorite color. Do we know what their favorite colors are? I would assume that like Soul's favorite color is red. Nah, what if it's like yellow? Why would it be yellow? I don't know, bro. You just I can't I can't assume it's red just because the designers are like, we make most of his outfit red, therefore it's red. That's Dice that's State's favorite is. color is most likely red, therefore Soul's favorite color is red. Someone ask Dicey, please. Ask Dice, uh, Daisuke, what's your favorite color? And is it Soul's favorite color? <laughs> no, it has to be. No, that's I mean, his, like... That's his, that's his OC. You <laughs> 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 tell me that this is not his OC. <laughs> He might be right. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, we got to take notes from Daisuke here. We got to start either getting people to voice our OCs or voice our own OCs. <laughs> That's the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or at least what we can do is we can make music for our own OC. Our, hey, OCs, our OCs need themes. 
Damn, you want me to make music for my OC? That's hard, bro. All right, it, uh, all right, Fox. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get an OC, right? I'm gonna make one, and then yeah. we're gonna we're gonna commission a versus theme between that us. That sounds tight, actually. That actually sounds mad tight. I was <laughs> joking, but now I'm hyped. That sounds <laughs> mad good. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You can't joke like that. <laughs> all right, we took a break because we're gonna send the man himself, Tron, in there right, with so the justice. The the person who's organizing this, uh, this and running the stream yeah. is playing, and they play Justice. Yeah, and he plays, he plays, uh, sort of a mix of, like, bomb throws and going in. It's more like he uses bombs as a cover more than anything else, mm -hmm. uh, rather than making, like, a bullet hell style sort of situation. You can sort of see that by the, him, like, like, you see, like, Tron, he throws one bomb and then jumps in. Right? There's a lot more movement than you see from other uh, Justice players. Ooh. Bomb FRC. Did you get a knockdown it's... here? Ooh. Up bomb. What's up, bomb? Oh my god. Yeah! He mashed so hard on that. That's sick. <laughs> he just got it again. Oh, I, love, I love people mashing so hard they blow through clashes. <laughs> With the same. Ooh. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, hits Dolphin with OTG. Zega will take that trade. They're still in the corner. Nice read on the burst. Wasn't able to get the combo. Immediately, Tron fights his way out. Gets the corner. Knockdown. Oh, jump to K. Oh, oh no, trade. Woo! Knew that Zega, that was a similar situation before. Zega was immediately going to try to, you know, put pressure on. And that was a good read from Tron. Uh -oh. Double. Double jump avoids the counter, hits the back dash out, tries to tech out of there, but wasn't able to deal with it. Zago there popping we go. off. There we go. There we go. All right, one round apiece. Air throw into the corner. Ooh, back dashes the, the dust. Anti air bomb. They got knocked down. There you go. Now mixing up the bomb option to take the corner. Ow! Oh, that's an overhead. Ow! Oh! Wait, it's okay. it's no, it's not okay. okay. That was five hits. All right, now it's not okay. All right, and Senga, oh my god. Ooh, intercepted. Bomb, bomb, goes for the high bomb ah. that time. Earns the burst for it. Ooh, no, oh, it was no. a little bit too early. That hitbox is very nice, but not that nice. And Zega turns it around, takes it two to one with the round count. That was really, that was really, really good adjustment. Is that five for Zega now? Four or five. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's one of those things. We we definitely have to uh, definitely have to deal with this sooner than later. This is Michael been really competitive. I was just like, yeah. Right. I thought I I actually was fearful for a second that Clage ruined this, but uh, <laughs> it's been me. <laughs> it's, Man, man went on a tear tear. Like he, he was going in and uh Zega's Zega's turned it back around. <laughs> oh, is uh is Force Break the Jackhounds? Yeah, that's right. Always mix that up. Uh oh. Which move that she stole from Johnny. He learned it from Johnny. Stole. You say stole, I say learn. I do like that both versions of both Jackhound and Ensenga are like a real messy version of uh, of his move. I think that's good. That's good storytelling. Ooh, are you seeing Hellsap in there? Oh boy. Uh. One of the few characters that gets to blow through sword and dog. Kinda? With meter. Yeah. Um. Wow, that was a specific round opener. 5k? Yeah, yeah that was sick. Alright, so you can you can tell that health app's like, alright, I know I kinda know how to fight me. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I believe PMW has Kyle. Oh yeah, that's right. He's in the area, I believe, right? I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to remember who's from where. 
I believe Kyle's from from Pacific Northwest, so he, he would have the matchup experience. Oh, Zing is just like I'm running. Oh, we're running it. Those two, those two separate hits almost did fifty percent. Yeah, she just hits so hard. Ghost, oh. oh, doesn't even get a chance to get it out. Ooh, just raw overhead kiss. Wasn't able to get the combo. <gasps> oh, I was able to back dash in time because, oh my God, where did the dog come from? Hello? <laughs> Do you see how high he jumped? Uh, what happened? He came from the ceiling. A oh, hey, nice bait on Caterpillar. FRC, get some room with the ghost, side switch. All right, let's try to let the curse do the work. Yeah, that's hey, it right there. Hey, there we go. Where did the dog come from? He jumped from the roof or something. Like he from, he, he jumped from where Sting jumps from. <laughs> it's dog. <laughs> this is from the rafters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. All right, got. It. Got the uh, the overhead to hit just in time to keep Zega locked down for a little bit, and the positioning of Sword has been great. He's basically been forcing uh, Zega into specific movements. Oh, uh oh, cross up. Ooh, that burst was kind of sketchy, but it still hit. It's fine. So how's Ghost? Creating space. There we go. Oh, he'll take the trade. He's very close to Rao though, with no meter, so he doesn't have the ability to unsummon into it, but. If he's able to get out of this situation, oh, there it is. Bro, he did right. backdash on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. No. Is he, is he, he's dead. Good oh. Time. <laughs> oh boy. Thought you were safe, but then you're not. Uh, I was like, oh no, he has no meter. I wonder how he's going to close this out. Yeah, air hit fireball will do it. And then he just comboed from it because he ground slides, and you're like, ah, yes, I see. Oh man. Zega finally taken out. The May menace has been dealt with. Oh man. Are we finally halfway into these teams? I think so. Uh I'm looking at how many players we have left on Team Skeletal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 players left on Skeletal. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 for Elven Shadow. 12 left. But those 12 left are... Uh, it's going to be hard. Real yeah, tough. like you're, you're getting to that point where pretty much every player can take uh, multiple. And you're going... like So you get to this point in the 25v25 right now uh when the players become this good versus each other that every win loss becomes pretty detrimental um because it becomes about like playing matchups it's a kind of, you sort of get to this point where you're leveraging certain matchups for others you're hoping people overcome good matchups or bad matchups right and and so you get to that and if you don't win your good your good matchup you put your team at like a much bigger deficit than normal uh so we have uh lofo coming up i yeah. think i saw dizzy right yes yes so Zappa does a Zappa thing where he does run up summon uh, because he doesn't care about whatever you're doing. Right, because he knows you're going to push a button, so that way he gets a free summon. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Alright, Zappa's moving. And honestly, Zappa probably has one of the best times out of anybody in the cast fight in Dizzy because his summons are really disjointed and can just hit Dizzy from the rings where she's trying to retreat to. Yeah. And you're going to see Dizzy actually spend a lot of her meter like that on dead angles, on supers, because uh, she doesn't actually need any of it for pressure, uh, but using it for stuff like that will make it so that she can play a few uh, few more times. Uh-oh. All right, force break spike. Oh, gets rid of the fish immediately. Oh, no! First gets red. Fish okay again. No meter to dead angle. Oh, nice. Got the chicken guard. He'll take that trade with 5D. I'm surprised he got... Oh, no. Uh, Summon took it. That, he got dog again, huh? Yeah. Oh, dog's gone. Summon. Gets hit out of the summon. Oh, no. <gasps> Clean jumping. 
Yeah, yeah you're seeing like Lo Lofo knows the movement, right? He knows uh, he knows how to approach uh, using those great angles, sort of the 45 degree angle that's difficult to deal with without sword. Like that's the perfect time to go in. Uh, it's just been really difficult for Lofo to sort of string his Oki. Cross up. Nice cross under. That was sick and good. Also, immediate tech out from Lofo. Oh, trade. The fish is still going though. All right, so Hellsap's trying to get another summon out there. Has sword. Wee. Wow, actually avoided force break spears. Oh, red. Right. Yeah, one more time. Oh my God, there is a, a lot of movement. He does have twenty. Or he does have fifty percent meter, so we do have the ability to unsummon into Rao. Hey, but we got crossed matter. up. Yeah. I didn't even know there was space in the corner. just got hit. Yeah, me neither. Nice neutral jump there. Good read on, on the round start option. All right. A little hole keeping a good pressure, but gets hit by Ghost. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, put themselves in the corner. Oh, dead angle. Gets rid of the Ghost. Oh, watch out for the banana. Oh, okay. Let it let it dissipate by throwing out a bunch of stuff in the meantime. Hey, Tagmo. Good defense. So you can see Hellsap's kind of having a hard time trying to catch Lofo right now. Lofo's doing their best to make sure that whatever they put on the screen, they move first. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, just run up full screen. Pinwheel. Oh, oh no ghosts. It's okay. Yeah, keep sending ghosts. Lofo real content and just waiting for him to uh, spend ghosts before he starts moving. Run oh, in. Nice block. Oh, no, but you burst it because you thought you got hit. Woo. Close. Oh, counter hit jump S. Yeah, gets the combo too. Bad position. Nice double jump out of there. Avoids the uh, sword. Oh. Or, yeah. To say, uh, sorry, avoids the... Uh, the fish but like why did that 5d hit from so far he he had to he had to have extended his hitbox right that's zappa uh, well, that I is don't that know. is a smaller than average character he had to have pressed like no because like that a lot of zappa's normals don't go that far or that no big. i yeah they're not that big either that's why i'm like is 5d just broken <laughs> we knew the press five deal all along. He was but, like, <laughs> like duffed him from half screen. Yeah, that's why I was like really confused. I was just like, okay, I see five D coming out, and then I thought Hellsap like ran in, but then I noticed where he was when he got hit. He was just like still in the corner. It just so. looked so jank because I was like, well, it had to be a hitbox interaction. Yeah, but I, I don't think I saw counter hit anywhere. So I'm just like, no, I didn't. Uh, so now I'm, I'm like, I'm lost. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't see like, I don't see footsie five D all that often. So, it's time, time's to change. Mm -hmm. Everyone start using five D as footsies from now on. You will clip a limb and you'll get a impossible dust combo. I thought, I, I know, I know it's a big move. I just didn't know it was that big. Yeah, because like. You would assume that because of the way it looks, uh, the hitboxes are probably something similar, but I I, don't, I can't see it being that insane. <laughs> Guilty here. Hey, we got Psyblade. I haven't seen Psyblade <gasps> play Plus R in so long. Let me tell you that if there's anybody who, like, helped me grow my love for Guilty Gear, it's Psyblade. Because he used to put up, he used to take all of the stuff from Mikado and put it up on YouTube. And that was uh, an invaluable, invaluable asset for people who were learning. Yes, Cyblade is one of the original fighting game uploaders, uh, specifically for Guilty Gear and a little bit of Melty Blood back in the day. So if you remember watching anything on YouTube from back then, like in 2012, 2013, you can credit to him. Yeah. I, and yeah, that's why I said like it's it's a very big deal what he did because being able to access that much like top level footage for for us early on is was so so incredible Without for us to. Nico Nico. Oh, that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
to get into this one. Yeah, and he was also uh, like one of the better SoCal Milia players uh, at that time as well. He's been playing this character for a really, really long time. Ooh, they're just staring at each other, just like they're like swing. No, you swing. Oof. All right, picked up pin. She just needs one, but she's not gonna get it. Ugh. Yeah. Your your bait your bait or uh, Loaf was playing it perfectly. Like in this matchup, you actually just play to chase. Uh, and you look for that knockdown, and if you don't get it, you don't care because your movement's just as good as hers. All right, the disc. Oh, gets hit by the 2K afterwards. Yeah. Right. Woo! Woo! Right nice pickup. Do you get uh? Do you get pin as well on the roll? I don't think so. I think pin's okay. Oh, no, wow, he, he did. did. I'm a what liar. A mo oh, what a monster. He did everything right. He got the anti-air. He did the block streak. He did the roll to think if it got blocked, but it didn't. And he still picked it up, and he got pinned. Right, didn't oh. get the knockdown. Ah, force break bubble. That hurts. <gasps> Anti-air 5H. Blech, blech. Yeah. All right. Kind of scrambly. Kind of scrambly. You're going to expect that from two extremely well-moving characters. Yeah, nice anti-air. Knockdown. Disc. Uh -oh. Can he take the burst? You'll be pretty happy with that. Mm, 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 mm. Keep it simple. Force break disc goes for the double mix up here. Ooh, nice air throw. Air throw. Ding. That's disrespectful. All right, meaty fish. Time to guess. Ooh, we blocked those, and then we got through yeah. again. Da, 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 da. Fish knocked down. Oh, no. Spike first. Wants to get out the corner. Nice. Ah. Trying to chase down. Yeah, waiting for pin to come back up. Ooh, gets the pussy jump. Oh no! Hey! Overhead Emerald Rain! Close enough to get the 2H! And that's gonna be enough. Thirst Rain, y'all. <laughs> One move hit confirming the super. I thought, you I thought it was do impossible. That. I thought it was impossible. <laughs> I heard way back in the day from someone who makes. YouTube videos that you couldn't confirm one hit to super. I heard it was impossible. Oh man. Emerald Dream. Good stuff. Uh Cyblade. Taking out uh, Lofa was Lofa was killing it, so that's definitely big ups. What yeah, was Lofa... it? What Good. was it saying? Oh, Nico Nico. That's yeah, right. Nico, Nico. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you, young whippersnappers, all right? There was a thing called Nico Nico. I, I don't know if it's still alive. It probably is. But uh, back in the day when we wanted to find match footage, we had to go to the site called Nico Nico. And we had to go look for Guilty Gear videos. And if you were lucky, 240p. Most likely some sort of bullshit resolution like 168 that didn't actually exist um 144 there you go uh and man let me tell you you got really good at recognizing what pixel was tatami and what pixel wasn't uh this is before this is before we've really worked together to get a lot of people uh on the japan guilty gear side like good streaming stuff it still took like that didn't happen until like 20 like 13 14 something like that because i forget when acho first had its own youtube channel because that was like the start because when yeah. Acho had his youtube channel we were like finally finally and then <laughs> mikado got one um trf got one um athena got one there's a couple more arcades i'm missing but you get the idea <laughs> and then um <clears throat> That's by the way, that's not talking about whether you are watching live on Nico Nico. Because if you were watching live on Nico Nico, there's a good chance at any given point you were kicked for a premium member. Which means you had to get premium. You <laughs> Which had to pay means money you had to get it. To, to watch some things uninterrupted. Oh <laughs> Those are those are different times. Those are, oh, also there was no scrubbing. I forgot about that. Oh God, that's remember. Right. So if you if you were trying to find some match footage of let's say like this match of Soul versus Milia, and it happened to be at the very end of a thirty minute clip, let me tell you, you had to watch thirty minutes of a video in order to get to it. You're like, I guess I'm gonna sit here and watch all of this. <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, for those reasons and many others, please say thank you to Cyblade for what he did. Yes, he, he was one of the early people to do that. Now everyone does it, and we're like, cool, thanks. <sighs> oh, all right, but now he's fighting wheel. Throw? Oh, you can actually throw... Um, between the the hits of uh, Grand Viper. Yes, thank you. I yeah. couldn't remember the move, but yes, you can do that reliably. Yes. You, you, you cannot FD it because you'll be pushed too far. Oh, no wheels going in. No uh, has poor HP. Help. But that doesn't matter. As long as she's alive, he gets one knockdown like this. Oh. Yes. Great use of delay disc. Just making sure, like, if you're going to run into this space, you're going to have to respect it. Oh, no. Woo. Oh, it's million time. All right, Where goes for the good knockdown there. Didn't oh. see a uh, secret garden afterwards, but still the corner positioning there. Earns the burst again. Nice air reason throw. to tech and gets the air throw. That's a guilty. That's a veteran guilty gear player thing to do. Oh yeah. Weird oh. hit out of the air. Just let it drop into throw. Absolutely. Oh, air throw again. Oh no, messed up. Probably disc setup. Yeah, probably. Jumps out, tries to take the angle. Oh, to pick it up. Oh, let's go. He's gonna hurt. Yeah, I normally say that force break uh, sidewinder means that it's not going to do as much damage, but it's Milia, so you might as well just make the combo work. Yeah. All right. Sideways trying to get pin and get a knockdown. 5K anti air. Yeah, wasn't Ooh. able to get the combo afterwards. Able to pick up pin though. Big win. There it oh, is. No, we're we're in. Cool. Pussies. Disc. Oh, yeah. No. That was such a good read on Riot Stomp. Oh. And we get Oki. Thanks, Dead Angle. First. Hey, hey, first. That's what I'm talking about. That's not yours anymore, fam. That was such a good read on Riot Stomp because if that was like Grand Viper, then. So I would have got hit. Yeah, because the startup of Grand Viper actually goes under the start of the uh, disc. Right. But he did, but he knew it was like, oh, it's going to be Riot Stomp because he's in the corner. So. <laughs> and, a he's a soul, and he's a soul player. He plays soul. He's going to do Riot Stomp and wake up. <sighs> good, good stuff. Cyblades. Moving on. Uh, crossing out. Yeah, so I mean, Cyblade's gonna keep taking names until you send somebody to deal with them. Uh, the problem is that it's like Milia, so it's like you know you have you can't just send somebody who's gonna like you think maybe have a good matchup. You're gonna have to send somebody who's like you know is going to be able to take care of it. Right. They either have a good matchup or they specialize in fighting characters like Milia because that's who they primarily fight in their region. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I honestly wouldn't know who to send up. Millie is just that sort of odd character. Chirp? Jam? Okay. You're you're legitimately like always two hits from winning. Um, in both directions. Yeah, seriously. Perry. Um, Perry makes discs slightly scarier. Uh, you can obviously follow it up with meaties and stuff like that, but um, you can't just set disc and like do roll pressure because like, or sorry, uh, roll mix up or turbo fall mix up because she's just gonna parry leave. Um, so it is going to be more about like harder lockdown. You're gonna see like a lot of disc uh, 2s, which will open up the ability for Jam to do DPS and trade out. So it's definitely like a, a way, way more difficult for Milia to sort of uh, keep Jam locked down. Oh no, this kid's getting cranks, so any big hit will send Milia to like 50% HP. Yeah, we'll knock down. Woo, big air throw. See how he approaches this? Yeah, he's just gonna leave pin behind. Oh, oh no. no! You don't burst the, the rising portion of Milia combos. Because she can usually like fall, she'll fall or she can block. Yeah. Oh, nice! Woof! His anti airs have been so good. Like these are some of the best six Bs I've seen from Milia. 
that's how you know he he actually has played the character for like 10 plus years oh yeah and milia 6p don't get me wrong like milia 6p is really good because of how far it extends uh but it's just like so crazy to see like usually you see like a lot of just mostly air approach like you're seeing a lot of like on the ground perfect spacing 6p here Woo. all right gets it overhead gets the chase down Oh, the 6P again. One in the corner. Hold this mix up. Hold this second mix up. Why did she end up on the other side? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she just uh, does whatever uh, she wants. Needs okay. him out of the air. Wasn't able to get the jump H to air dash. Oh, all right. Gets a, gets a random card, but that may be the card he needs. All right, he got all the cards now. Oh, yep. no. Oh, oh no. Down. The jam has a taste for meter. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I said help. Oh no, he crossed up and he went the wrong way. Oh, that sucks. All right, poor Burst. Jump 2k. Dead angle, no dead angle. Overhead, no super. Ah, uh, yeah. Almost guaranteed that was supposed to be Emerald Rain. Ooh, scary. Oh, fuck. Hey. <gasps> oh, counter confirmed. That was going to be so sick. All right. And Inside Blade cleans it up. Ooh, that was scary. I was getting really sketchy up that in there. Yeah, it's, when he when he missed the first Emerald Rain, I was like, oh no. <laughs> that really sucked because I, I that's probably uh, for Chirp, I mean, because that was the corner combo was probably a factor of Milia being light. Uh, what's it called? Normally when normally when I see jams do that combo where they use up all their uh, cards you just mm. they just hit the ground because all the cards give on techable knockdown you can't as when you get hit by them anywhere on the screen you just fall all the way down you can't tech that so you just take that oki she's in the corner and you just rush million down and you hope for the best yeah that's that's true wonder i i wonder what the ex the extension is though either way i mean you saw like you saw how scary that matchup is though. She got hit once. She lost lost like fifty percent of her health. Yeah, because she got three cards and she used all of them in the same combo. Jesus. Like, really? She doesn't even need meter. No, she doesn't. She needs she needs meters extra. <laughs> meter is a luxury. It really is. Brent? Brent and C. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know real names. Purify? <laughs> All right, gotcha. Thank I you. I don't know real names. That's the realest shit. I don't know real names, man. That's the realest shit. There's a reason why I put my real name in my handle. I was like, whatever. Somebody comes to a tournament with a name like uh, uh, Despiser89. You're like, oh, I've known that guy for 10 years of my life. The Despiser89's real name is Troy. He, someone's just like, oh, that's Troy. You're like, I don't know Troy. I know Despiser89. <laughs> that's not Troy. That's not their real name. <sighs> Those guys are just like, oh, yeah. This guy, his name is Mini Matt. Oh, what's, what's his real name? Steve. Like, all right, cool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right so i actually thought they were gonna send up purify uh earlier and right. only because that this matchup actually doesn't suck for kai too much because the lockdown is really difficult for milia uh because it's just fireball on top of you yeah um and kai is is pretty comfortable on the defense here it doesn't mind yeah thirst force break star you get to sit back it puts milia at bay and uh, all of the hits that Kai does, like 6P, if he gets that full combo, it hurts, actually, versus Milia. All right, so, oof. You can see how he's playing a little bit more grounded. He's willing to just wait to get his anti-air. And in the meantime, just chuck fireballs. Not commit too much, because, you know, if you overcommit, then Ooh. you get knocked down, but he gets an air throw. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's not, he's not going crazy. Yeah, right. and you saw actually, like, even Cyblade was, like, playing defensive first, right? Like, there was yeah. room and decided he's going to down back, make sure he doesn't get hit. He didn't know if Purify was one of the one of the Kai's that likes to do Greed Sever a lot or not, so he was just like, let me see first. But I think Purify is one of the more, uh, uh, cultured Kai's, if you will. <laughs> 
That's the way to put it. Ooh, should be able to take the round, Oof. get the full extension. OTG, Almost. no, just like so. Oof, that's hard to block. Hard to block. Dude. Yeah, I don't, I think that's like, I feel like the first time we've seen Bad Moon out of Sideblade so far. Ooh, double air dash, oh, oh counter hit. Yep. Get, oh, oh, wasn't no. able to get the knockdown. It's a big loss for Tyblade, but it is so difficult for Kai to make up uh, life leads like this, especially on a character that can move. He just needs uh, one of his big anti airs, honestly. Okay right. He might not get it. Hey, 6K, Emerald Rain. Wasn't able to get the combo, so just goes for the setup. Tyblade sitting comfortably with so much life. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, and after like like after taking that life lead, you're asking Purify to basically make up a lot of damage, and Cyblade doesn't have to risk himself at all, so it's just become way, way, way more difficult. Like unlike that first round where Cyblade was, you know, they were trading back and forth and sort of playing like more neutral than not. You saw like how close that round was compared to like. Cyblade getting two clean hits and and basically, you know, taking the life lead in a big way. Yeah, it's generally how the matchup goes. But Cyblade also playing super duper well. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Like, like it looks like he hasn't. Like I'm pretty sure he probably played again when GGPO came up, and he was just like, "Oh man, I remember how to do all this stuff," and just been playing a bunch. Right. That's. I, I feel like that's what the, the case is for a lot of people who or have come back through or just like. Oh, like, you know, give this a shot. Keep playing. You know, I can play online now, so that's dope. And then they keep playing. They go, oh, man, I forgot. This is fun. Yeah, because the game is so fast paced. You just like you win and or lose rounds so fast. But I think that's just the nature of Guilty Gear in general. Yeah, it's it's nice. There's very few characters in the game that sort of extend uh, rounds in a big way. Hmm. Who do you send up? Who do you send? That's what I'm saying. Millie is a problem. She doesn't like lose anything too hard. Uh, who's left for a skeletal's team? All right, uh, top to bottom, left for skeletal's team. We got Raekwon, Digital Watches, Hano, Naj, Isaac, True Tech, Mercy, Kraken, Skeletal Minion, Blitz. Mm, yeah, I don't know who you send up. There's no like. It's just Millia. That's the problem. Yeah. There's no good answers. Yeah, because uh, she just needs to knock you down once. Like, the, the only quote-unquote good answer would might be Potemkin, and that's because you're just banking on Raekwon to, like, outplay Psyblade in neutral and just get the hit, and then you're just like, all right, cool. I mean, I can say the same thing about Cliff, though. And I don't think that matchup's that good. N yeah. Cause it's okay. Is, yeah, because, like, he gets, he gets a big hit, she's dead. But he might he might never get the chance because if he misses a uh, like a chop setup or the sway gets red and then he gets hit he gets stunned and he just dies. Right. Like you're like if you get red on sway, you're the game. I think the round's over more likely than not. Yeah, because you get mixed up and then you would either have to do like reversal super or you'd have enough meter for like sway chop again, and then like you really are dead if it misses again. So it really mm. is, it, it's kind of hard because you don't want to send up your, the last, a lot, the last of your strongest players too early. Because maybe you're holding Blitz for later and you were holding Raekwon for later. And you're just like, all right, I'm going to chill on these guys and then wait to see what to do. Yeah, I mean, you have like, I think what would probably be your top five, which is around like Skeletal Blitz, like DW, Hano, Raekwon uh isaac i said six but that's your top five <laughs> um and any one of those have the ability to like win bad matchups play against anybody else on the opponents on the opposite side mm -hmm. um so it's like the question of do we send him then now if we lose one of those trump cards it'll hurt a lot right uh and if we don't do we bleed out more? Or they could just be icing Cyblade right now and just like, all right, we, we, they, you know, you, there's no set time. Oh, there we go. 
Nosh. But Testament. Okay. You know what? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Much more, uh, much more neutral control than average. You have the ability to get a knockdown into Oki. Milia without meter really struggles, and her invincible metered option isn't fantastic. Um, yeah. I, I could I could definitely I understand I understand the pick. The the problem being you don't want to straight up give up your your testament pick because a lot of people are like oh testament is the best character in the game free, but you need to have a player who's willing to eat through a couple of matches if they're not gonna like just straight up win afterwards. Right. Because there are some people who could. We play a character, they could straight up win six, seven in a row, but they have to be able to do that. Or else then you just lose all your momentum and you're like, oh no, what am I doing? Nice block on the 6P. Woo! Gets a pop it. Yeah, gonna set a big Hitomi behind him. Rolls Gotta worry Hitomi about it. it. Oh! Where is that tree? There from? it is. <laughs> Tree's cheating. Tree is mad cheating. Alright, knock down. Wait. Wait, wait. Yeah, the left. Delay Nightmare Circular, yeah. Not the best oh, option. The... Not the best option versus Milia because she has the ability to stall herself out in the air with combo. Why does it still come out after you delay it? Shouldn't it just because come it... out? No, it always comes out. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. I, I don't know about Nightmare Circular delay, but at least like as long as the flash goes off, like the move's coming out. Okay, okay. Oh, anti air tree. You love to see it. Yeah. And the flash is always coming out because he's involved through the flash. Uh, up see. until the flash. It's kind of wild. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's crazy. Oh, confirm. That's cool. We still get a knockdown even though we didn't finish the combo. Woo! Cyblade ran for it. He outran EXE Beast. I mean, Barney's not that fast. <laughs> uh, knockdown. Oh, boy. Sad times ahead. Oh, we got those. Oh, almost. We got two hits instead of one. Who's he gonna do Matt Surf up his stat to end? Oh, anti air 5D. We were Ooh. talking about that a couple <gasps> games ago. Cow Ooh. Wow, nice super jump out. That was sick. Oh, burst doesn't want to eat the knockdown there. Oh my god, Grave Digger. Damn, just jumping and wake up with no meaty. Oh my oh, god! Badlands RC Warrant! What a monster! <laughs> that was so sick! Ah, uh, he didn't block the overhead. Rip. <laughs> Bro, why did he do that with Gravedigger? Because he did Gravedigger. He could have just did Gravedigger RT TK Batlands, and that definitely would have hit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. You know, that was like... That's like you get hit if you're good. <laughs> <laughs> because you RC Badlands and you go, okay, Badlands isn't plus enough to be saved by RC. I'm going to press a button and take my turn still. <laughs> take my turn. <laughs> oh, my God. That definitely does happen, though. Oh, my God. That was sick. This is the last thing I expected. Naj, uh stopping the bleeding for... Team Skeletal. Which is very important because you, you don't want to also lose another one and then lose your Testament player. Yeah. Because it is assumed that your Testament player is one of the three, four, four in mm. North America that are the strongest, that are considered the strongest. Plays, yeah, plays one of the strongest characters. Plays one of the characters, like, you, you look at your testament and you think, like, you can legit just throw them at whatever. Because they're yeah. awesome. The only struggles they might have are, like, personal matchups they, they don't like or they don't see too often. Right. And you, you know, it's a 25v25, so you just ask. You ask the, the player, hey, are you comfortable in this matchup? Yeah, okay, fine, go ahead. All right, here you go, go. Here yeah. You go. Because that's very important to you understand your player psychology when you create your teams. Because if you can get a handle of the person that you want to use first, you mm -hmm. can figure out, okay, most likely you have an idea of who they're good against, what they normally play against. And then 
you you ask them like hey is there anything you don't like because i don't i don't know what you don't like maybe or you don't feel comfortable playing this person in particular then you can do your strategy mm -hmm. good stuff to cyblade though that was cyblade was a neat surprise for the 25 v 25 i played uh, him in multi blood the other day he's still really good wow he's still really good at fighting games isn't that crazy that's that is actually crazy because he's been good at fighting games for like a really really long time I feel like a lot of people who have been playing fighting games for the past, I don't know, 10 plus years, if they if they didn't take too long of a break, then they still have the wherewithal and the knowledge that they need to be able to play mm -hmm. at the highest level possible if they were up there. Yeah. Whew, all right, we got Axel. Axel is... God, he sits in such a weird position in this game. I think it's so cool. Mostly because I think this character is really good in this version. I think he keeps all the top tiers in check. For the most part, yes, because his damage output's really high. His buttons are really good. I forgot the changes that they gave him that made him that much strong. Oh god, might not matter though. There's a there's a lot of little things, uh, but I I also think like yeah, just having the increased damage is just so so good. Oh, he just air dashed in with the lead. What a beast! Uh -oh. <laughs> this uh -oh. is not your mom's Axel player. Because <laughs> <laughs> normally when Axel players get a lead, they usually tend to like just put buttons out to contest your space. But <laughs> Kyle's just like, I'm going in. I'm going in. Well, Axel players are crazy. They they're confident. This character has options. Oh, uh, warrant I, from full screen. I love it. I would consider Axel to be one of the more annoying characters to fight, and also strong at the same time. Oh yeah. Oh, he, he keeps yeah. Going. That was a good read on Air Dash S. One hit. Oh, you didn't get the master puppets. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, he tech. He did tech grave digger. Yeah, he did. Got clipped out of that. Got teleport warrant out of there. Good block. Combo as well. It's gonna be very close. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh, Koko Geki might have done it, but oh. maybe not. Oh, hey, yo, tech DP. I mean, that was the first time he did it this, in those two rounds, so you save it for yeah. the last. Yeah, that's true. Not even a real DP. It's kind of a real DP in this version. Is it frame one invul? <sighs> Listen, you, you get a combo. <laughs> you get a combo if it trades. That's not... You didn't you get ask the question I asked. That's, that's better than it was before. Wait, was it frame one before? It is. It's not. Not I full mean, invul. Not... No, it's not. It's not. It's not full invul. Oh, so then what does it do? You trade. It's four frames. You trade and you get a combo. Bro, it's not frame one invul. You want it to trade. No, you want to get, you want them off of you. No, so you, you want it to trade. What if it doesn't trade? What if you just straight up lose? What if you, uh, what do you, yeah, both other options are bad where you get the hit and it doesn't trade or you would just straight lose. Because normally it's like, I think of a DP, I'm like, oh man, this DP is like frame one, you know, anti is pretty well, that's pretty good. But it's like, oh, I just, I muted him correctly. Okay, cool. I don't have to worry about the DP. Yes, yeah, it's, it's frame one head and vol or upper body and vol. Okay, that's see, that's the question I wanted to know. See, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, but I mean, eh. it's like a pseudo DP with the trade. Like yeah. it's got all these weird attachments to it. It's like, all right, cool. You know what? You got it. <laughs> all right, while we're over here talking about Axel not having a frame one DP. Elvin's trying to figure out who to put up next because he's got a lot of players left. Uh, hmm. yeah, it's Axel. So it's like some what we we're saying. Like I, I do feel like Axel plays against a lot of the top tiers very well. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't necessarily feel like I want to throw one of my strongest players out for that. Um. But I'm also not sure who I do want to send out. Mercy? We want to send out Venom? Mm. You could do that. Uh... I don't... 
The offense isn't too much of a problem. Oh, uh, he has, I didn't see he has a Kito. He could just put a Kito. He plays a... Uh, Robokai. Yeah, so Robokai would be, I feel like Robokai is kind of okay against Axel because Robokai's got projectiles that linger on the screen that if Axel gets hit by, he gets knocked down and Robokai can run his Oki. He could do that. Yeah, no, that's true. I could, I could, I could definitely see that. I don't, I don't mind this. I don't mind Venom though, because Oki Y, like Venom's biggest problem is that he's terrible knocked down. He just has zero options when he's knocked down. Right. So as long as he, and Axel's not that scary when he knocks you down. It's when you get hit. Oh my god. Ugh, everything's going wrong for Mercy. Okay, try. Oh my god. Momentum burst. Oh oh my, no. You do not get to play that game. I will sacrifice my burst. That's that's a worthwhile burst. You're up a game, so you're guaranteed to get another burst by the end of or even if you lose this round. Oh, trade. And you can probably tell that Kyle's just like, alright, I'm gonna pray off the fact that Mercy doesn't play a lot of Axles so they don't know the common tech trap situation. It's the problem, man. There's not many high-level Axle players. Uh... The only ones I can think of are Capconian and, oh my god, and, um... Uh, DW. DW. Yeah. Um, I know there's and... one or two more, but... I know people are gonna be like, hey, check out my boy Kyle, and I'm just like, damn. Kyle's a lot better than I thought he was before. I am checking out. I am. I am looking. I am checking out Kyle respect uh, respectfully. <laughs> I'm looking respect. I am looking respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, this is. Uh, I mean, it's looking good. Looking good so far. Yeah, like I'm saying, man. Like it's gonna be difficult. Um. <laughs> I, I don't know you I think you just have to take a risk here you're getting to that point on skeletal minion side you're running out of players right you're gonna hit your top five top six sooner than later like you can't set Nino in there uh it's a slightly <laughs> better matchup than it is an exert but, but you, it's you still want to hold your Eno because you're preying on the fact that Eno gets the one knockdown they never play the game yeah, right. There, you know, you know, does really well against uh, some of the characters left on on Elven Shadow's side. I would keep you know for a little bit longer. Uh, you can send Faust. Wait, who's their Faust player? I just Kraken. Oh yeah, that's right. We can send Faust. He can send. You can send Faust. You just have to hope that Kraken's okay with um, fighting against Axel. Like as as a personal match, I'm not like uh, Faust versus Axel. Yeah, because it's very important to realize when you fight Axel, there are going to be times where something tags you, and you have to not lose your composure. You have to be like, okay, I can, you know, like getting hit doesn't suck here. I just need to not retaliate poorly because you'll start to lose a lot of life very quickly if you take too many small trades, and he always comes out on top. Yeah. Um. Mm. It, the I always like I always like Faust, uh, because there's few matchups I think Faust loses, and also oh Hana okay oh, I was gonna say boy. few matchups that he loses and also like uh, Faust can just play neutral like ninety percent of the time he really doesn't ever have to force anything and he can still put pressure which is nice sending Hano. It's Hano. Hano. Yeah, it's Hano. It's Hano. Hano. Everyone Hano. should know by now. It... Like, Hano has the composure. He has the skill to be like, oh, I'm losing? Uh, that's fine. Whatever. I'll, I'll just get the clean hit and I'm, I'm set. Or he has a life lead. I'm going to make it as difficult for, as possible for you to catch me. Woo. All right. Gets the first big knockdown here. Pressure. We saw it. If you watch the, you know, Midnight Carnival, you saw how good Hano is at keeping pressure in the corner. Oh, oh my God. God. He's trying to kill him. I mean, he almost killed him. I, I can't remember how much stun Axel has, what his stun modifier is. So I think it was anyone else with lower than whatever he has. He probably got stunned. <laughs> he that clashed with both hits of 5P. <laughs> 
Oh, spend hey. the meter. Nice throw. Troll. Clean troll. Nice. Starts off with something quicker to deal with a 5D or a 2D start. Aye. Oh, wasn't able to get the full combo. Scary. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 Ooh, double air dash pressure. Oh no. Why? He didn't run up 2D. Yeah, because he thought he was going to do instant overhead again, like right there. Ah, help, help. I want to well, play I'm the game. I'm telling you, dude. Hano's pressure in the corner is insane. <laughs> Mom, help. I'm trying to play the game. It's it's like Kyle winning the last two games didn't even matter. They were just like, Hano's just like, yeah, whatever. All right. Trying to save my team here. Hano was just like, yeah, I want to play. I want to play. I got this. I got this, man. And as you can all see, Hano is well versed at being able to fight. I'd probably say at this point the whole cast because he's been playing Plus R. I think he was playing Plus R on Switch for a good year and a half or something like that. Because when Plus R came out on Switch, he made it a point to say that the netplay was pretty good. It was just that, like, you know, a lot of people didn't want to get it on Switch because you needed a converter for your stick. You need to have, I think back then the Switch Lite came out, so you had to have the regular Switch to do that. But it's like a good investment because you can still play strong players. And I believe the netplay was pretty good. And I know people were just like, damn, why is Hano so good at this game? And he would post clips of like Cliff doing these weird ass mix ups or doing 100% stun combos to most of the cast, like as time went along. And his knowledge of the game is very expansive because there's a lot of small things I didn't know about the game until I saw Hano post about it or just talk about it in general. So that, that was really good to see. And once again, he's the he's probably the proprietary owner of the Plus R Discord, the main Plus R Discord for NA. So if someone has a Discord link, you can link it up, you find out where to play. Sorry to interrupt real quick, player. guys. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Fox and Sammy Fish, for putting them work. This is Gokin Respect on the mic everyone i really appreciate everybody for all the subscriptions today i believe we got to about 61 subs today that's Ooh. actually insane so you guys are actually broken when it comes to helping us out and uh the matcherino i believe is a little over 300 dollars so that's gonna be nice for these players uh but if we can get even more money in there that'll be extra helpful to these players so they can split it amongst themselves whoever wins and uh so everyone gets a decent portion and also guys for those of you guys going ham with the channel points also shout out to jack valentine subscribing at tier one thank you um those of you guys going ham with the channel points i will be doing 50 push-ups and 50 setups at the end of this stream but that is the max so <laughs> no more redemptions that's supposed to be limited to five <laughs> I apologize for those of you guys who cashed out the points. I will try to give them back to you <laughs> later <laughs> on. But thank you guys. Uh, I'll give it back to Sammy Fish and Fox doing amazing thank commentary today. Thank you guys. No problem. I appreciate it. Thanks to you also, Jack Valentine, for the follow. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't, now that you, now that Goken said something about like channel points on sit-ups and push-ups maybe i should do the same yeah but how would people know that you're doing them they would just have to go off i have, of, uh, I have a camera oh yeah you can do that <clears throat> a camera it, i it mean be like this is a workout stream slash uh arc nights uh guilty gear attacking stream <sighs> jesus you make me sound like a fuck crazy person no it's just like, like <laughs> what it, what am i gonna see on this freaking stream this time you're 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 a sub variety streamer. Sub like, you're variety. Not, like you're not full variety. Like you're not playing all the new stuff that comes out. You know, like how most of the streamers do. But you play stuff that interests you, and it's enough of a diversion from what you used to play that people are like, "Oh, what is he gonna play today? Or what is he gonna do today?" That that's Sammy. It's probably a mess. <laughs> it's probably whatever. Yeah. Expect expect terrible things mostly. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what do we got? We got Hano. I I don't know what you do. They uh, they're just thinking. They're like, all right, Hano's played against everybody, so you have to have the idea of that. Like, you put if the next person who goes up isn't too confident in Hano, that you just use it as a 
like information barrier, information right. Barrier. Because, like, <sighs> I don't... Uh, the only thing you could do is probably, like, either Wukash... Wait. Yeah, Wukash, Kyle W, or probably Akito. You probably just put the Rubokai out there to be like, all right, have fun. Yeah, you could send uh, Akito. You can send... <sighs> Strawberry? Yeah, they're strawberries they've become one of the stronger kai players within na in the last i'd say like six months or so they put in a lot of effort into playing a lot of plus r they've played a lot and they usually are good about keeping up with information strawberry might be good but i don't know if they have played against a lot of cliff is the only problem it's a lot of patience in the matchup and i feel like strawberry is a pretty patient player like they mm-hmm. their their understanding of like when they're when they're supposed to I, at least just like i haven't seen them play a tremendous amount of plus r but i've seen them play way more in exert uh and just judging from the exert play like they're they're a confident player when they know how to approach so i would say that um you can throw It might it might actually just ask you to throw like some like one of your heavy hitters in there. Like you might just ask you to throw like Wukash or <clears throat> Fiesta Mint. Yeah, it's hard it's hard to decide who to pick. Also, yeah. I, th- this is just for future uh team tournaments, team big exhibition tournaments. Set a timer for who you're gonna for who you pick next if you don't have another one default because this is going i'm just saying this is just me i'm a jerk i i'm i'm the douchebag but i would be like you have no more than a minute and a half to pick your next character if you have no i i think that makes sense not 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 for the icing aspect actually but because given the ability to like spend forever to deliberate you can just you know, you can take as long as time as you want in order to like make the perfect decision. You really right. shouldn't like it's a twenty-five v twenty-five. At the end of the like, at the end of the day, you should probably be making decisions as this team before during the match. Right. That's that's just me. I'm a douchebag. I'm trying to like stifle people's ability to have an advantage over me. No, I mean that's I I think that's fair. Oh. All right, so setting up a uh, Dark Dragon in there. This is fine. Like, this character blows up huge stun values on her moves. Oh. Whoa! Oh, we have parries. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, single hits that have... that are pretty easy. Like, or, sorry, they're... how to say, projected quite nicely. So they're easy to parry. Oh, mini disc. 2D. Burst. Oh, you need to win the run off that burst, because if you get hit... He Hana might be able to win the round off of it. Ooh, back and being careful. Hana making sure he doesn't get hit by force. Oh, oh, oh my lord! Yeah! I did, did he mean that? There's no Who way. Said he meant that. He's a brain genius if he does. Oh my god, Hano, stop. <laughs> Calm it down. Ah, oh, scale ripper. He's just doing anti scale rippers. What is he doing? It's, he had to have meant that. That was the sickest punish. He had... I don't... Bro, I don't know. Alright, Skull Crush. Safe. Chop. Ooh, yeah. that's high! Uh-huh. There's no... Uh, oh. that. Okay. No, not quite. Not yet. Just Block it out. Alright. My Thanos is going ham. Oh, my D's! Ooh! Woo. We got those? Nice. Yes. Dust impossible. Oh, no! Oh, Missed the pickup! Oh, that sucks. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Wow, air dash back. Hold soul survivor. I didn't know you could hold that. Yeah, I mean, there's no real use for it. But you what can hold hell? it. <laughs> oh, confirm. Yeah, we take those. Alright, time to get a mix up. Oh, just kidding, you're in the corner. I forgot he had all those cards. Mix up. Nope. Tried to bait a chop. Get a lot of meter. Don't die with all your meter. Good reactions from Hano, though, on uh, dash sway. 
<laughs> oh, footsies. They're playing so patiently. They try not to explode. Oh. oh let's go ahead and take your spear weapon again. Ah. Throw? Don't burst. Oh, you couldn't even burst if you wanted to. The throw just killed. Yeah, I mean, the threat of when you're that low on life, like, the threat of just puffball in its own definitely is getting Hana to block there. That's hey, parry. Hey, it's a parry. Thanks for reason. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nape Saddle, the gold burst, the classic. Jesus, that's... Wait, he just stood under Ryujin. Hello? Wait. Yeah, that's a, that's a small man. You shrink in your old age. Oh, my God, he tried to kill him. Wait, what? what? That's right. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. He is... Nice parry. Yeah. Hey. Come on, Hano. Yeah, that was rude. He just did a TK skull crush. He was like, I'm a, I'm a spinning. Hey, check out this speed. <laughs> speed. Speed. <laughs> That was that was pretty close though. Like it was definitely just on a few knockdowns and, and the nape saddle gold burst and then getting the value out of the combo was a huge deal. Yeah, because I, I forgot he could just do nape saddle and then if you try to swing gold burst, it's just like it's like what's up? And you're yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> Cause it's like slightly minus enough that you wanna try to take your turn back, but he knows that people are gonna try to swing, so it's just like alright, I'm just gonna get hundred meter things. <sighs> Yeah, and especially for, like, Hano, who's really good at sort of reading opponent's tendencies and stuff like that, a character like Cliff is really good because he puts himself in a lot of, like, not punishable but negative situations. Oh, slightly. So, nice. how's it going, Hano? Do you have something hey, to say up? this time? Oh, um, just no, no offense to Dark Dragon, good set, but you have to kick him out of the room to let the next guy in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Hey. like, I want to play. I want him. Give me the next one. Dude, he, he's trying his best not to get iced here. Yep. Come on. I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Understandable. Well, well, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, like during these uh, big team like exhibitions, people will try to, like, I guess it's an exhibition, but people will try to ice you because it's just like, all right. People are momentum-based players. Let, let's just slow them down for two seconds. Oh, God, this will catch. boy. All right. All right. All right. This, Getting this, into this, this gonna one. Be, this is either going to be... Well, it's going to be entertaining, but it's either going to be, like, a slow and steady-paced match, or people are just going to explode. Because I think Biken's stun value is on the lower end of the cast. That's something yeah. I have to like. No, no, you're oh, right. You're right. Woo, I'm right. Yay. I don't, I don't know if it's exactly where Eno is. Hold on. I have a web page and two monitors. But we got a match going on. We do in a second. Yeah, it's a, it's tied. It's tied with Eno. Yay. All right. So, I'll start Lola. Oh, but so, you know, I believe so is Cliff, though. And he janks, he jacks his own stun up. So. He'll do that. They're playing footsies right now. Oh god, and then Sakura oh, happens. Sakura, wake up chop, immediately burst very early. Oh. Baku? Yeah, he is saying just like that, no thank you. Oh no! Weird angle though, so it's like when he blocked it, he actually went outside of Viking's effective range. <laughs> that was kind of weird. All, hey. Yeah, hey. that's classic. I think you can just do Tatami at that range. Oh no, anti to Tatami, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, he's trying to kill, he's gonna do it. Whew. And Wukash being like, yeah, I play bike. Yeah, check me out, guys. I'm doing specials out of block. Oh my god, Tatami, Tatami. It's like one nice. of the best moves. Oh my god. Oh, and gets counter hit, Orin. What a monster. Oh! oh. Goodbye. No, ah! Oh! See, I told you. Hano's like, I got this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Uh oh. Woo! 
he gonna get the six speed? Yeah, let's go. Nice cross up to Tommy for Meaty. Yeah, I mean, Bike it still does insane damage. But as you saw in the round before, she yeah, just it's just not 90%. <laughs> Hanel needs to burst carefully here. Whew. He doesn't even. <gasps> hey, the fixer up or force break to Tommy. Hit him with the Hanel on the way out. Good stuff, Wu Cash. <laughs> good, good game. See, that's what I'm talking about, though. Oh I mean, my you... god. When you have someone like Hano playing, it doesn't matter how badly the round before went because he knows if he gets the one the one clean hit, he's just gonna kill you. Whew. That was that was sick. <laughs> like as a biking player, you have to know that, like, all right, I'm fighting Cliff. I cannot get hit by anything stupid or I'm dead. And Hano's just like, yeah, you're gonna get hit. It's cool. But then as the biking player, you're like, but, but check out these combos, though. They're sick, right? Combos are cool. Yeah, they're cool. <sighs> God, that was like... I didn't think it was going to stun. No. It, as much as I've seen Hanel play now and and the knowledge of the uh, stun values of the cast that I have now, it's, yeah. it's kind of clear of what the starter is, how much meter he has. He can stun anybody at, at most points. Yeah, dude, that's... That's so I'm like, this character has just such good robbery potential. And I don't even mean just for, like, the ability to stun in that situation. Like, he can force those situations sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and make it really, really, really scary. So you, it feels like when you're playing against a character, you're just, like, always playing a tightrope. You can't get hit. Right. Or, like, your approach can't be sloppy. Because I know a lot of people kind of just autopilot stuff sometimes. And they're just like, oh, I'm going to air dash here or whatever. I'm not going to get anti. Oh, he did fully charge 6P and I died. Yeah, it's weird. It's like it's not like where you play against Biken, where it's like, oh, I got to play against Biken. I have to stagger my pressure. I have to throw more. I have to put more throws in there. Like, you change up your gameplay in that regard. It's more like I have to approach carefully. Otherwise, I will lose. Mm -hmm. yep. Entirely. That was a sick game, though. And we're kind of getting to that point with the names that are left. Right? So they, they did send out Wukash when they did it. I was like, oh, they might just hold him for a little bit longer. But they were just like, yeah, screw it. Just throw him at Hano. Yeah. I mean, Wukash's bike and is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, he's... he's He is... I mean, as a... Normally, an, or not normally, I should say, originally an Anji player and then picked up Biken later on. Like, he is so good. He is so good. Mm. Um, But then they, you know, they had the luxury of also having Klage, uh, which is nice. So the the flex pick that is, Han uh, that is uh, not Hano, that is uh, Wukash is pretty buff. Well, that's, that's, that's if you don't... Uh, if you pick someone, that that is if you're you structure your team around an Anji player that people don't know, and they're like, who does this person play? I don't know. Then you look at Wukash, and you're like, they can be playing Anji or Biken, so we don't know. So you just kind of like hold Wukash to the side until you have your Biken or Anji player play. Yeah, that's really nice. Who do we send up versus Wukash? I don't know, man. Who's, uh, who's Isaac. So we got four um four skeletal minions team. The players left. Raekwon, Digital Watches, Isaac, True Tech, Kraken, Skeletal Minion Blitz. Uh you could do either Raekwon or you could do Kraken because it's Faust. Faust and Potemkin have I think their matchups against Biken are fine. Because like they have long range pokes she has to kind of respect. Yeah. Uh, Potemkin is if she does something that's like minus four or something, she gets pot busted and she has low HP, so she just kind of like evaporates. And Faust can just kind of annoy her endlessly with items and long range pokes, but then she still does really good damage versus those characters. She gets like the big body confirms, and you're just like, Oh, yes, I made a mistake, I got hit. <sighs> Raekwon definitely makes sense, but. I mean, uh, I mean, I say but, but you're at that point in the tournament where it's like you literally have to send people up to win. You can't send people up to like 
throw out. Especially, I, I believe, let me see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players left for Skeletal, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Elven Shadow. We're getting to the we're getting to the end of this here. Uh Isaac, maybe, uh, maybe True Tech. True Tech might be fine because uh it's Eno, and you know, Eno get, needs the one knockdown, and if the biking player is uh, solely focused on blocking and they always guess wrong on blocking then they'll never get a chance to do uh specials out of block so yeah that's something you don't have to worry about yeah wukash is good but like at the same time you're right like one knockdown from eno could be it and hover hover mix-ups are kind of difficult for biken um or isaac i would say maybe isaac yeah bridget he can just fly around the screen doesn't but, have to engage. But you have to worry about getting hit. If you get hit, if Biking gets like, I don't know, a Tatami starter, probably losing 50%. Yeah. Yeah, that that is certainly a fear. But I, I'm also thinking like, Isaac's good enough to like attempt to avoid the, the worst setups or the worst, uh, the worst starters. Oh, all right. They did it. I mean, I, that might that might be more to a testament to how strong Wukash is as a player that they feel like they have to they have to stop that here. I mean, Potemkin's a, a great answer, and Raekwon might even be a better one himself. Yeah, because he 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 possesses the the ability to just I'd say beat anybody at this point from what I've seen from Sunday because I hadn't seen him play too often in the last couple of months. But based off what I saw Sunday, it's like, hey, he could probably just, he could win a tournament on his own. No problem. Yeah, it was like, he was entering tournaments before, like I'd say three months before, uh, started entering tournaments. And he was winning a few of them, getting top three and a lot of other ones. But like, the level of like, strength that Raekwon showed at Carnival was like, insane. He was so, so good. And, uh... Definitely, if he shows it off here, is something for Elven Shadow's team to worry about. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it begins. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's that's uh, you've given up a, a valuable asset here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, there is a thing we talked about her low stun value but we also talk about her low effective health she does not have a lot of uh a lot of guts or a lot of health to worry to work with she get a knockdown from here oh didn't know which way to do 6p it's okay still got a good chunk of damage but you know can't get can't get pop bustered can't get comboed hey oh, wow. right, second hit mm -hmm. air dash let's go 6p nice combo cross up to tommy no hammer fall for you, sir. No hammer fall for you today. Uh oh, drop combo. Back dash. Hey, hey Tatami. Yeah, very nice. That was a really good approach. Going in with uh, jump H's, you can go in from super high up. You don't have to like be in that hammer fall range, and you can cancel it into a special to break hammer fall armor. Oh, is this confirmed? Almost. It's cool. Zakuro can't do jump D like that. Yeah, you can see Wukash's plan is to avoid pop busters until you get hit by a pop ah. buster. Oh no, you didn't block Wolf! Time to get this. Ah! Goodbye. RC? RC. Alright, last chance for Wukash here. Yeah. yeah. That's the problem with this matchup is you're not allowed to air dash at the height you want to because Hammerfall exists. And yeah. You can't, unless you're just doing jump P repeatedly, you're, you're usually just going to get intercepted and get knocked down. So that's why that matchup's not great for a Biken. And someone like Roy Kwan's just like, cool, I just need like two correct reads and I have a life lead and they can go in and win. Yeah, I think I think you saw like Raekwon's adjustment from second to third round was perfect, right? Like just backed up a little bit more, was in that sort of right outside of that uh just regular jump in range where he could jump in H to Tommy. And so he didn't have to worry. He didn't have to worry about Hammerfall being broken in that range. Yep. So it's perfect.
because uh, like uh, he eats a tatami, it's usually eating by hammerfall. So you're like, all right, I'm in there. Yeah. Also, uh, I realized that I incorrectly said that Biken has low guts. I'm, I meant to say low HP. I, I meant to say I, I incorrectly said low guts, and then tried to correct myself, and then said that poorly too so mm -hmm. sorry she has very high guts she has low effective hp she has four guts four or five guts it doesn't feel like she has i swear to god it, it does not feel like she has five guts it's because i i usually try my best to go over the what i feel like is a better health stat in general which is just like effective health which is what you're like you're after defensive mod and guts uh what your overall how much damage you can take like how much actual points of damage you can take right and biken <clears throat> ends up being on the lower end because of her defensive mod because like i think at exert when they were like yeah we made her defense better i was like that's cool and then like because this was from 2.0 to 2.1 i was like all right that's cool and then it feels like she takes the same amount of damage and i'm just like yeah like is this this is what five goods feels like because i don't feel anything i still die if i guess wrong yeah it doesn't feel like much because you like I said, like at the end of the day, it's just about how many points of damage you can take. And it's mm -hmm. that that number is low. All right. So now they've unleashed Raekwon. And now Evan Shadow seems like, huh, what do we do? Because it's either you send out Testament. If you want to send out your good matchups, it's like Testament, Faust. Uh... Wait, help? Who's left? Mm -hmm. Um. So we got left on the side of Elven Shadow, uh, Kyle W, Mini Mats, Fiesta Mats, Beautiful Dude, Strawberry, Akito, and Elven Shadow. Like more, like, like eighty percent of that lineup is is like good against Potemkin. Then you're just like, wait, it's Raekwon though. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, That's the crazy you, thing. You're just like, huh? We gotta fight Raekwon. I would like. I would Potemkin. say. I would say like. Yeah, beautiful dude's perfect for this. Like Eddie versus Potemkin's a nightmare. But like, mm -hmm. yeah. What do I like? That's that didn't matter before. Why would it matter now? Yeah, because I feel like Raekwon's smart about trading with Eddie. So he would kill Eddie. You know, then Zato's just or you kill little Eddie. Then Eddie's just like, wait, I don't have any for like ten seconds or something ridiculous like that. What do I do? And then Raekwon's just chasing you down the whole time. You're like, ah, help, get me out of here. Oh, well, there, there he goes. Yeah, it's a, so there's two factors that go into this. One, that Eddie versus Potemkin is a good matchup for Eddie. On paper. On paper. On paper. Uh, mm -hmm. Secondarily, Beautiful Dude also lives with Fu, who is also just a super strong Potemkin player, right? Yes. So they have played this matchup for a very, very long time. Um, there's factors that go into why Eddie is good versus Potemkin, uh, not including that two of his normals hit multiple times, uh, but also that he's such a big body, it's hard for him to jump out away from Mawaru. Uh, so it's like he basically just has to pretty much eat a lot of that pressure. Uh, beautiful dude, if you win, you have to pop off. That's, that's all I'm going to tell you. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. I really hope he was not oh. looking at something stupid. What a strategy! Play. What a strategy here from the beautiful dude. <laughs> and did nothing. He got him to backdash. He's just looking at me menacingly. He he lost little Eddie though. Okay, he's back. Oh, ooh. It just supposed to hammer fall, but he lost little Eddie again. Skills. Drill knockdown. Ooh, hammer fall. He tried to move. Oh bye. Nice jump away. No brood. The, uh, stop the approach. Gets Pop Buster for his trouble. Super jump. Nice block. Guess. Ooh, backdash. Trade. I... Yeah, not the trade that you want. Gonna burst. I... Anti air. Anti air again. Uh. Oh, I love that he exhausted while he was on the ground because he needed to keep Eddie up, but then got hit overhead into a Gigantor. Yeah, but Timmy has an overhead in this game. It's crazy. But you see Raekwon's guarding on the way down. Uh, uh, backdash. Nice backdash. Ooh, scary. Ooh. Oh, jump D. Tries to chase down afterwards. Ah, block. Bro, he lifted normal. He still got to confirm. Yeah, I know. Overhead. Gigantor. Oh, goes for the reset. 
<laughs> you try to like grab him out of the <laughs> Julian, relax! Oh, burst. Oh, it's time, it's time to guess or die. I Bonk. guess he's gonna die. Don't burst poorly. Oh, blocks the overhead. Nice Very block. Nice. He's dead. Yeah. Like I said, good matchup. Raekwon, though. Uh, I, I, what I want to know is uh, who picked Raekwon first? Like, was Potemkin play the first thing that they thought of, or oh, like how the draft go? Yeah, that, Bro, dra really drafting in this is it must be a nightmare. Because like you look so at your like, players, like, you pick Raekwon and you go like, ah, oh, sick, I got Raekwon. But it's like also, how who do I? Yeah, who am I trading for that? I'm trading like Fiesta Man. I'm trading. You know, Woo Cash. I'm trading mini map. Yeah, like you're giving up a lot, but then you're assuming that, like, you're assuming that one Raekwon is worth like all those players put together, and I, and like in the long run, you're just thinking, you're you're just thinking like, is this really, is this really the trade that this this person made? And then you look at Raekwon and you look at how he plays, and you're like, you know what? Yeah, that was probably the right choice. It's yeah. I mean, in a in a world where like one person can like almost win you the game mm -hmm. like right you just get such like an incredible lead from them or are they able to close it out like raekwon's just the perfect pick because like if i look at both members of each team you think about how many players they can knock out and then you have to figure out who who makes up for that so like how clay each got through like five or six people you also have someone like um a Zega who went through like four people. Like you need those right. people who can kind of streak a couple of times to make up for any deficit you might have in the player matchups or character matchups. And then you have your strongest players for last because you're just like, all right, this person can effectively beat all these players in the first to one. Yeah, there is there is an argument to be made here by a few of the people in chat saying that Alvin might have to come up. And they might not be wrong. They might not be wrong. You're getting to that point where losses losses are detrimental. Like you, every person you lose is like is putting you closer to the brink of ex like losing this entire thing. Uh, and you can throw you can throw people up there that you think maybe not won't win versus Raekwon, but that might put yourself at a bigger deficit than than you want to deal with. You don't want uh you don't want Elvin or Fiesta Man or Mini Matt like to run run uh multiple. That was Fiesta Man popping in for like no oh, reason. I was like, who is that? <laughs> yeah. I would say like I would say Fiesta Man if he if the match that they had at Midnight Carnival did not look atrocious. And that's not to say <laughs> anything about the strength of Fiesta Man. He's an incredible player. But that was an ass beating. It's it's also Raekwon because like a lot of people are just. It's like, also Raekwon. People were just like, yeah, Raekwon won the t he 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 won the tournament, but oh, he's asking for the run back. Yo, give it to me. <laughs> I won the first one. I'm give the better it to player. Me. <laughs> you're only you're as like, good. You're only as good as your last matchup. That's true. It's like oh, you beat you beat me. What was it? Three one. I think it's three nil. I think. Oh, I think I if don't quote me on it. If it was three one, it felt like three nil. That, yeah, there you go. It was. It, it was bad. Yeah, essentially, it's like you you win the first to one in in a stack uh, exhibition tournament. Then you're like, I'm nice. I'm better. Oh yeah. You're only as good as the last win. It's true. What have you done for me lately, huh? Uh, not even a week ago. <laughs> What have you done for me lately? Oh no, okay, jumps out of the pop buster attempt. Nice, and it also cancels into Badlands to put him in the corner. Gonna burst for momentum. Jump D to get rid of the nuts. Keeps position, does have a Tommy yeah. there. Blows through it. Nice FRC too. Just... Ah, cursed. There you go. Uh, oh no, Rayquan's free. Oh, he has to still deal with the curse. Oh, got those. Oh, 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 nice. I'm, I'm loving the jump back dust into Badlands. Oh, no, Hammerfall. Set up there. All right. He's got a chance here because he's not going to have Okie Okie. Yeah, so good. Uh, 
Good reaction to the 6H. Oh, oh that skull's God. coming. This stupid skull. Oh, one chance. <gasps> Slide hit. Super jump. Hammerfall. Nice. He, he had to do it. He had to do it. That was so smart. He was like, I need to keep him locked down. I can't do 6H to pressure here. I'm going to use Hammerfall. I'm going to RC it. And that's going to be my pressure. That was so, so smart. All right. Heat knuckle knockdown. Mini 5K. Hammerfall. FRC. Pop Buster. Time to guess again. Oy, oh, my God. So throw. You're Yo, Fiestimate's a monster. Oh, no good for him. That's not good. Hammerfall, nice. yep, Warren. Nice Warren, yeah. Oh, what? No. Oh, yo, the flick on Barney? That was sick. Bro, he's oh. so purple. Bro, the, the poison did so much damage. It's at the Tamekin, even. Oh. Oh. oh, he got away with it. Oh, that was the biggest win. You better Knocked win him. this round. Yeah, if you win this round, you have a chance. All right, two Barney's hits. Should get a whole confirm. Don't drop this, please. Oh, oh. no, he didn't do the right confirm. It's all right, fine. it's all right. All right, <laughs> Barney put in work. Yes, you can flick EXE beasts. There's a bunch of things that are programmed as projectiles so that Potemkin can flick them. Woo jumps out of the pot buster attempt. It's cool. OTG skull. Woo hoo, we're trying to get out. Overhead. Right, nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh my god, he got hit by, oh he got hit by everything! Rick he got, he got through. The Thousand Acre Woods and the Witch! <laughs> Did you see? That was crazy! He, he didn't get hit by the house, though. You need to hit him with the house. Oh, oh nice back bash. Rick not dead yet. No, oh, that, that's, oh. that's the last hope. Oh. Last saloon? No, that's it. Yo, PS. Oh. Man. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> I beat Raekwon. I'm the best now. I'm the Midnight Carnival. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm number one. Good shit, Fiesta Man. Fiesta Man is definitely one of, like a player that doesn't stay down though. Like that guy studies labs. Like effect uh, always wants to improve. Yeah, so I mean, I I guarantee you like a thousand percent he lost against. Raekwon and went back to to learn how to be better at that matchup or be better versus Raekwon specifically. Yeah, because you saw that he was doing a lot more jump back, jump D. He was doing a lot more skull summon, a lot more 2D just to try to keep it so that it was hard for Raekwon to approach. And yeah. it worked out pretty well because normally Raekwon's willing to take straight hits to like eat a hit, late tech, be in your face and then force like a scramble situation where you're like, oh God, what do I do? Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, like you're saying, there's a lot of use of force break skull, which is like sometimes people consider it to be like not the best use of meter, but for Potemkin specifically, it's just such a big body, like he can't actually get away from it. Mm -hmm. uh, might as well be locked down. So it it, it was uh, definitely well studied. There's a lot of stuff he didn't do before: jump back dust into Badlands, backdash two H two D. Uh, that was, there was it looked way better. That's that's just that's him sitting down, studying, improving. That's all it is. Or or he might have gotten some help from his teammates that said like, "Hey, you weren't doing this. Try doing this," and they were like a good uh, encouragement boost for you because you know the other benefit to team tournaments is you have a lot of people who are willing to give prop. Uh, advice that you might not have thought about before and you're like oh wait and like that light bulb goes off in your head and you're like yeah this should work right and, th and that's what you want out of a, a bunch of people on your side you want them to be able to give you support even if you lose it they still giving good support is important yeah sending up true tech eno mm, deals with warrant very well because he naturally baits it with doing hover mix-ups Oh, that's so, true, you just land and block. Yeah, if you do, if you do, by the time you like go for land low, you look at him. If he's doing warrant, then you just throw him or do a big counter hit move. Let's see how he approaches this. Gets into this one. Nice backdash, set note. Ooh. Willing to take those uh, EXE beasts out of the air, but not willing to eat that knockdown. That's why he said early bursts. I no, get rid of the net. Free approach oh my god tk bad land mid screen oh. oh my god 
Ooh, he got the throw himself? Yeah, I thought True Tech got the throw. Yeah, oh. same. Oh, hey. There? Yeah, there's not there. Oh, Play wow, that's a good Badlands, too. But it's mid screen, so it's kind of hard to get oh, net. Hello? Oh, let's go. Hello? I threw that shit before I walked in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm? Uh, not press the buzz again, that's cool. Uh, woo. Hey, dive. Time to mix. Time to get them mixed. Uh oh. <laughs> Everyone falls before hover mix ups. That's, that's facts. Ooh. Oh, there's the warrant. Oh, no. warrant in the corner. Got hit. This hurts. Okay. Burst? Wow, keeps corner positioning. Gets yeah. Hit. Super good burst. Lockdown. Uh huh. Uh uh. Oh, we're getting Enode, boys. We're getting Enode. Yeah! Uh oh. Uh oh. Long desperation. Good read. Stroke the big tree. That was that's, sick. That's, that's low. That's low. Oh no. Set him up. Nice Ooh, block. Overhead. FRC Barney, another Barney. Oh, didn't block it right that time. Knockdown, time to yeah. guess. Hey, overhead again, cheap. Oh, reset, Just okay. Sets up, 3H, we're out of there with force break dive. What did I trade with? <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. Woo! Uh, uh. Oh, got the oh. hit. Oh! Oh, oh no. everything sucks. Wow, all right, force break, no, actually helped him out so much. There's a chance. There's a chance! Gets the burst! No, you pushed out too far! Oh, that sucks. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Oh, no. He had, he got in there, he blocked the burst, and then 2H was just too far to hit. That sucks. I still can't believe that net comboed at the end of the first round. Bro, that's, that's the hookup. Cause I was just like, oh, oh, you're gonna get the knockdown in the corner, and then the web was just there. I was like, wait a minute. That's what happens when you speak to the trees. They just help you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, that was good stuff from True though. I believe this is he picked up plus R recently. Did I he? believe so. I believe so. Hmm. I believe he picked up plus art recently uh and he already looks pretty good because it, it what's it called it looks because he looked pretty solid it's just that like yeah. you know, getting around testaments a pain in the ass yeah exert or true tech is an exert player coming to plus r yeah okay so I, I i was i was correct uh it already looks really good and you're like it's hard to judge a player's strength when you're playing against a guy like fiesta man is that dw that is DW because it's a name that is a actual. It, it is a fake real name. Is <laughs> DW's names like her names are like the ones that you get to see in the that one baseball game that had all the, oh. the the Japanese game that had all the fake American names. But but they're so American. And you, they're like That's yeah. Fake. Okay, I don't. I actually don't know how often they're the anagrams. Why are you putting this much time into your name? Because it's silly. Oh. It's silly and fun. It's important to know that it's fun. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna see so digital watches. Oh my God, she got that confirmed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh. Nice. Woo! Wow. Oh, counter. Hold that. Actually, it, it does activate even. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. He's doing unblockables. <laughs> Dash with 2k. Uh, was it? I was gonna say uh, that counter. You can make that counter activate even if it doesn't hit anything. Mm -hmm. But DW just she's just going in. Look at that. Uh -huh. like full screen. Pro. Okay. I thought I thought Axel was a zoner. Hello. I, yeah. I. Doing too much damage to me. Bomber loops. Woo! Okay. Spin a Rooney. Let's do it. Ooh, that was a odd 6p. That felt like a, a call out to Force Break Gravedigger, actually. Mm. Uh oh. Poison knocked down the corner. Nice. That land, one hit. Nice. Let's go. Master Puppets. Master Puppets. Oh, no. Hatomi. Oh, that was too much respect. 
Oh, Fiasmet had the right idea and just uh, unfortunately pressed the button at the wrong time afterwards. DW two to zero. And and the way that DW plays, she's very she's very aggressive. Yes, very much so. Because a lot of people normally are just like, oh, it's Axel, you know, I can kind of take my time or. That's a zoner. Yeah, that's a zoner. She's just yeah. running at you. And you're like, oh, you're like, God, no, please. Oh, man. What do you do here, man? I don't know if I want to send Kyle up because they may. I'm, I'm going to assume that they play. Yeah. I I'm going to. Make that assumption. Because I, I know from my time in in the pacific northwest myself that the pacific northwest loves to play with their friends which is great like i'm not saying that is a bad thing that means that they all practice with each other a lot um but there's like not a tremendous amount of good options left and dw is one of the best players in the united states yeah so you don't want to send up someone who might not be on her caliber but then at the same time, you're just like, I, I have to try now or else I don't get a chance later. Yeah. There is uh, with this many players left, there's so uh, I should say I can I can say what's left. Uh, DW up the rest of Skeletal Minions team is Isaac, Kraken, Skeletal Minion Blitz. On the uh, Team Elven Shadow side, we have Kyle W, Mini Mats, Strawberry Claire. Akito base and Elven Shadow. So we have Kyle coming up. I thought that might be the case. They do play more. Uh, they play against each other. So that would make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think any of the other matchups are particularly that good. Um, other than Elven Shadow or Mini Mat. And I feel like we're saving uh, we're saving those towards the end there. All right. Uh, but I don't know if you should be saving anyone anymore because it's like the i want elven shadow versus isaac and skeletal at the minimum uh um, yeah because you don't want the bridget player being able to just fly away from everyone and they, and people are just getting tilted because right bridget and he's flying at you and you're like man screw this guy i'm so this is my worry i don't want blitz versus elven i don't want elven to be taken out by blitz but i right. do want elven to take out Skeletal and Isaac. And that's not to say that those actually happen. Those are just, in my opinion, good matchups for Faust. Like, just playing matchups wise, because we're getting to that point where people are so good, uh, you have to consider who can beat who. Right. Oh no, Bates. Bates reversal. And DW decides to burst kind of early. I was doing a pretty good job of making sure he doesn't get hit by Axel mm -hmm. Buttons. Gets away from the unlockable. <gasps> Footsie Dolphin. Oh, okay. oh, Yo, cross up mid. Ah, dash up 2P. Block? Ooh, the empty jump block. Oh, and DW should just wakes up with 5k. Oh, uh, I, not the trade that you want. So, yeah, that's yeah. a fine trade when you have health. Right, but the thing is, it's also Mace, so maybe trading with Mace not the best thing generally because your damage output is so high. Yeah. Woo! Woo. And she's so low. <gasps> Wait, that counter hit. Yeah, counter hit. Woo. Like, just seeing Mace double jump and, like, disjoint the screen kind of makes it hard to, like, keep track of her. You're like, God, my eyes hurt. Yeah, the character just moves so fast in the air. 2 H meaty. Keeps the pressure up. Rents NFRC. One more top him. Oh, tried to make the read on the jump out. Dolphin pressure. DW's back to the corner. Has to be careful about getting hit by Zanga. Nope. Oh, he oh tried my. Gold burst anti air, but just used the invincibility. Kept herself safe. Got the throw afterwards. And she's just playing way more defensively now. <gasps> I don't know the last time I've seen that. Anti, anti air unblockable. All right, we got those. Reverse the super, and it is plus. I into overhead kiss. Oh, she's not dead. Oh, but oh. random dolphin hit. Cross up jump two. Yeah. Uh, May things. A lot of May stuff happened there. Dude, May drop combo into into dolphin hitting raw. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Because the dolphin hitting gives you a, gives you Oki because it does 
it gives you knockdown. You're like, huh, that's cool. All right. I see. Oh, big win. I, I would say it's a pretty big win considering DW is one of the best players in the United States, in my opinion. Yes. One game. You, you just need that one game. That's it. So we got four lives left on the side of Skeletal, Isaac, Kraken, uh, Skeletal, and Blitz. So, honestly, I think it's because it's May. I don't know what you do. My time. It might be Faust. I think Faust is either Faust or Bridget. Honestly, if you're trying to like have, because if you send up Bridget and the Bridget wins, you you have to figure out who the Bridget has to fight next, and you don't want it to be like a really awful time for her for for bridget to like fly away and try to get into the sky and then get intercepted by like i don't know faust bomb faust items who else is there left yeah i so the the if i were to put this together in my head i want i want isaac to play against matt mm -hmm. and matt strawberry or and akito Right, just because mobility versus those characters is so prevalent that you don't have to right. worry about like uh, interactions being awful. And then I want, I'd want skeletal to be clean up, basically. Yeah, because you put skeletal in, he can rob just about anyone because Abba goes into Goku Maroha mode, and it's like, did they guess wrong once? They they're dead. They're essentially yeah. Dead. So I can't, so we can't, I don't want to send Isaac versus Kyle. Plus also, like, I don't think that matchup's great. I think she dies. Um, I think it has to be Kraken. It's either, I think it has to be either Kraken or Skeletal. I can't send Blitz before Elvin. Elvin has to come out first. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think that's the case. Because you want the character that has the, the ultra mobility set play to be like, okay yeah i mean i agree i think you cannot you cannot send blitz first right. blitz has to come as a response to elephant i think that is just like if you get to a point where you can't do that there's already a problem i mean you're in a problem right now you have to you're <laughs> forcing you're forcing putting up a player when you're a player down now right you're essentially you're banking on blitz to carry your team, you know, minus them seeing, uh, like, a character like Kai or... And and Blitz, Blitz has Kai experience, so yeah. it's not like it's, like, that big of a deal. Um, I'm... Me, I'm thinking Blitz is, Blitz is my answer to Elvin. Like, just... Mm -hmm. Matt, I think... Matchup wise, that's how it goes, and it's not even like it's the best answer. Like I, like Elvin's so good that he might just end up winning, and he, he's in the Midwest. He plays against. He has had played against two of the best Milia players the United States has had with Sim, and AKA. So it's not not set in stone. I think this is a, a reasonable response. You have to get rid of Kyle W here. You can't have him take another one out. <laughs> but if he if Kyle wins, you're in. You're in oh my God! Control. I don't know what you do. Like you just you. You are hoping for miracles, I think, because I'm assuming that the rest of the players here are going to trade. Yes. At this point, That's... you start trading in your favor. Yeah. Woo! And you can see how Skeletal's having a hard time to get a clean hit to get to key grab when they don't want to just raw blood pack. But there it is. <laughs> yeah. And he got punished for it, too. That's just like that's just how well like Kyle is playing. He's just had had it ready at all times. But uh -oh. we're doing that thing where Abba gets the hit, uh, and then does damage. Yeah, yeah it gets a little Went bit of life again. back. Goes back again. Might as well. We're gonna save one for Goku here because we have the meter for it. Ooh, gold burst. A super jump jump to H. Oh, Goku. <gasps> With the punish, that was so sick. I didn't even think about that. How fast is Yamada? Fast enough, apparently. Huh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yeah, me neither. Oh, no burst. And it looks like Kyle's just hard bait. <gasps> bro, bro. Kyle, calm down. Yo, Kyle is going in. That's one knockdown. Aye, oh, too far for 2D. That sucks. Skeleton's That's two. Not oh my god. Yeah, I think he has to burst Suka. <gasps> Oh, oh, Goku! That's gonna Goku? hit! 
it's not gonna kill though, but it's fine because he can get a key grab to get. Oh no! Oh, oh ouch! You're dead. Yeah. Whew, that was actually close. I I thought Kyle was gonna live through that and just like get into another scramble. There's a very small chance that it happens. Yeah. Woo! Both burst back in this final round as well, so definitely a lot on the line. Well, burst before styles. he can go into key grab. Oh, no. Yeah, he blood packs. <gasps> Alright, keeps the pressure. Oh, tried to move, gets hit by 2k counter hit. Yeah, Oof. big hit here. Try to get an air throw reset? Nope. <gasps> Not knocked down just yet. Oh! Why did that Ooh. hit like that? Because we're in Moroha mode, so we have sick ass hitboxes. Time to be plus again. Yeah. I kind of like that act. Oh, use Goku. Wow, she recovered. That's crazy. Got the hit yeah, afterwards. Yeah, she recovered. I, I actually, no, I think she's plus when you block the activation. So you have, I think, is it like plus three? Goku activate? Yeah, I, I, I yeah, forgot Goku how... activates plus. Uh, okay. I, I just didn't know. I was surprised that May up Dolphin recovered in time. Right. That's why I was just like, huh. Hmm. Yeah. So... Skeletal avoided the worst possible scenario there, because if they lost the Kyle, I don't know what you like. You you don't just send up Blitz. You're just like, damn, can someone fight me? Yeah, I don't know what you do. Like, I I, I think I think you're in a like you're in a miracle situation at that point. But mm -hmm. Skeletal saved it for sure. Uh, and you send there. Strawberry here, yes, that's, because that's, Kai. Well, you know about fighting Ava because. As a yes. Kai player, you should know that knocking down Bridget, uh, Bridget, Abba isn't too hard for him to do. You just right. do it three times real easy, and... You have one of the best IK activations in the game. It's like the fastest, right? It is. I think the second fastest, but has... The most reach. It has the most reach. Or something like that. It's it's very functional. Uh, there's also the, the, the case that... Uh, Kai can just force a lot of knockdowns like he doesn't have to you know extend for damage so he can play he can play for the secondary win condition here which some characters actually just don't get to do because they don't have a good enough IK activation uh oh early, early burst from strawberry they still get tagged because the guilty gear classic I got bursted I'm gonna air dash back at you nope oh no uh we got hit you gotta pay attention to that meter once you're playing against ABBA that's gonna be it for that round yeah, the reason why Goku Moroha is so strong for Abba is because you can combo directly after it and it doesn't scale that heavily. Yes. So Alright. Protect to kill someone after it. Oh, Free no. Goku. Wait. Woo! That was that, sick. That was fine. Yeah. It did half their life. Help. Send help. Send help. Abba's running at me. Help. Ooh, oh, actually hit. whiffed. Yeah, but wasn't ready for it. Early burst. Trying to salvage everything. Do it again. Oh, oh, unblockable is fast. Air dash right back in there. Oh, 2D hit. Oh, no. Wait, you're dead? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, excuse me? Yeah. Technically a good matchup. <laughs> and, and then Abba runs at you. Yeah. And then you're like, well, what do I do? Yeah. Get eaten up. And it's hard, too, because, like, normally when Abba whiffs something... You're just like, oh, I, I'm just going to swing and I'm good. But sometimes you recover so fast and you don't pay attention to the fact that Danzai startup happens and you auto guard and she auto guards through something and you swing again. She just explodes you because, yeah, Danzai has uh, armor and then force break Danzai exists and you're like really sad when that happens. You're like, ah, oh, yes, I have messed up. Yeah. It's where like Kai is Kai's middle of the pack for effective health. So like unless you're like unless you have good health you're you're kind of getting blown up by abba mm -hmm. uh the strength of that matchup is that you can you don't ever have to actually like go for damage starters you legit can just play you can play like small ball like just, oh right just like whatever into 2d knockdown and you're yeah, like Aha. exactly yeah rinse and repeat because you can just uh put charge stun edge over you can 3h over them doesn't matter um, so now, uh, what's it called? Elvin's in not a predicament yet. He still has six more players. He Help. should have four. 
Four. Matt. Three. Hold on. I have this. Why am I? Why am I? I'm writing this down. Why am I? Oh. I'm, I'm an idiot. All right. Hold yeah, on. You're, you're the one with the notes. Uh, three. Three. Matt, it's... Akito, and Elvin Shadow. Holy. Uh, okay. Um. Uh. You still don't send out Elvin. I don't think. I think you. I the, think you the... send either Matt or Akito. You can't send Elvin Shadow before Blitz. Like you just can't. Right. You because because, because it's the same thing if you send Elvin now. Yeah. Because. Elvin can beat Skeletal. Like, I've seen that before. But the problem is, I then think Blitz comes out immediately after, and you just pray to God. If you're Elvin, you pray to God that, like, you don't have a bad day against Milia. Yeah. I I just, like, I think Elvin Shadow, it's the same. Sending Elvin now is the same as sending Elvin later, and sending Elvin later gives you a chance that you you send, uh... That Blitz is already up. Yeah, that blitz is out. It's like you hope that Matt or Akito just like two hit blitz, and you're just like, all right, cool. We're kind of in the clear, but not really. But it looks a lot better on paper, and that's why these are fun because you get situations like this where it comes down to the wire. Because normally, like sometimes some team tournaments, uh, there you don't get this deep in. You you might get like. Uh, 15 players in and then like all say oh my god all right here we go they're doing here it they're doing it all right everybody strap they're in, doing it. Strap in oh, everybody god. strap in everyone wait there can we a... swear i just i just i just re- i didn't ask if we can swear i'm asking this right now can we swear we will keep this i we, will, we will i'll keep this family friendly for the most part other parts bleep this out like it's cable TV. <laughs> no. You watch AW. That doesn't work. <laughs> they can't get it right. They can't get We don't have the technology. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. The last time I saw these two play, it wasn't good for Skeletal. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would say that, like... For the most part, Elvin's come out on top versus Skeletal, but Skeletal has, has had his wins. Whew. Was that a bomb? Why is that a bomb? Oh. Yeah. Man grab. Uh, uh, scary. Uh, Alright, Little Faust comes out. No Dunzai for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's two. That's... Whew. Meteors. Wow. What? Oh, actually, too far for Goku activation. That's such a huge loss. Wait, you're yeah, yeah. Oh my fucking god! Force break. Pogo removes OTG, baby. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Elvin, Elvin knows the ins and outs of fighting this character. One knockdown. Whew, almost got the second one already. Wait, is that two? No. Oh my god, he got two already. Yeah. I don't know oh, what I did. Oh, he blocks it. it. Oh, he was too far! That will count. Uh, so, uh, uh, Why do you start with 2k? I, I, I don't know, bro. Burst, burst, burst. No, wait, no, he didn't have burst. No, he didn't burst. Why do you have to start with 2k? Whatever. Oh, he's he's smarter than me. He's smarter than me. He's smarter than me. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Elvin's just like, all right, kids, get on my way. No, I, no. I gotta I gotta win this exhibition. I gotta put I gotta put my son. He has two kids now, right? I don't remember. I think. Oh. I think he has two kids. Too many, Whatever. too many fighting game players are having kids. Stop right. that. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, make sure you have a loving family that you can support. Nah. Can support you in your endeavors. I watch how you guys play fighting games. That's because that was they were playing fighting games before they had a family. It's different. It's no, different. it's not. <laughs> it's different. Come on, man. You know, why, I watch it. You're you're gonna you're gonna tell me that these people should have kids and watch and those kids are gonna grow up watching their dads and moms play net play. Oof. Yeah. You make yeah. A good point. Yeah. All you right. Point. You put them to bed before you do that. It's like all right, <laughs> all right, time to go to bed. Your mom and dad are gonna go net play. <laughs> and, and then they wake up. They wake up at like midnight and. Your mom is in one room net playing Tekken and she's raging over a Paul player doing block strings, 10 strings over and over. Your dad's playing uh, Strive in the other room and he's he's getting mad at Giovanna doing infinites in the other room. Mom, Mom's playing dad in Tekken. 
Mom and Dad, are you having a fight? <laughs> go in your room. <laughs> go in the <laughs> room. Deal, deal with your dirty Paul playing ass father. <laughs> oh shit, it's happening by the way. Oh, all right. Let yeah, I mean, uh, well, this is this is what's happening. All right. So as we were talking about before, you don't want to send up <laughs> Faust versus Millie because it's typically bad for Faust because Millie just runs at you. And yeah. This is what's happening. Wait, no confirm. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh. Yeah, Pindle that's. First. Well, it's actually in too much blocks done there because of hammer. Bro, that jumped the <gasps> Oh, we tried to reset. Nice oh, RC he keeps the pressure up. Nice jump away from Blitz. Woo! Oh read on God, the jump. All right, let's go, Alvin. Let's go, Alvin. Roll. Doesn't get anything off it. Keeps pressure. Alvin's just, he's escaping for his life. He's just making trades Whoa, happen. Oh, dude. Let's go. Such good reads on his movement. That was two times he read the jump back with the a jump age. Bro, he got first item meteors this round. Hello? Not gonna right. matter because of the throw. Well timed from Blitz. Whoa. Good block on Bad Moon. No air throw? Oh, he gets anti air. Let's go. Blitz doesn't get a confirm. Help. No. Blitz needs help. And he dropped the combo as well. That sucks. Chikawa uh, sends him into it. Amelia <gasps> likes extra meter. That's a big bonus. Winger clashed. Let's go. <laughs> that feels so bad. Hey, ah, Pogo. RC. RC. It's okay. He's gonna get his burst back soon. If he guesses right, he'll. Oh, bad situation. <gasps> oh, super oh, jump out. He got a chance. Alvin's a god. Oh, no. oh god. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Elvin. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, man. That's... Mwah. That class with the Mwah. winger. That class with the winger, though, that feels bad. That feels... I spent 50% on this, bro, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want my turn back. Elvin's like, nah, bro. I'm just going to keep pressure on that's, Oh, that's, that's, man. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I just straight just threw away bet it on 50 percent oh that sucks it's like it's like betting that's like betting money on the dogs and the dog gets stuck in the 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 starting box <laughs> just like you're like what like what can i do <laughs> i guess it's not my time to win it's today. not my day that's Everybody a huge win though like you were talking about how like the potential for how Elven Shadow's team wins, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a potential for a Faust Mirror, um, but with Kraken, but there's also uh, Isaac, who's Bridget, Bridget versus Faust is pretty good. Uh, I, I don't mind it for Bridget, but it is. Also, like, Elvin plays that matchup so often because we have very good Bridget players in, in the U.S. Yeah, there's a lot more than I originally thought. I was like, no one plays this character. Everyone just knows that Bridget, he does no damage. He he flies around the top of the screen and he's annoying. No one finds that fun. And, like, there's a few, there's a couple people who find that fun. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. Like, uh, I mean, between, like, Mahoko... And oh, okay, we're getting the we're getting the mirror first. Okay, yeah. I mean, with like Mahoko and Jace already being like some of the best players we have in the United States, like Isaac also just incredibly strong. Like mm -hmm. it's yeah. I, I mean, if you're playing at the top level, you're running into these guys. All right, so I guess Skeletal is hoping that Elvin's RNG is not on par this matchup. All right, chop. All right, yeah, a lot of items. Bro, his first item's a bomb. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this is how Faust Mirror should go. Don't press buttons. Don't press buttons. <laughs> you can we only have, throw items. You can only throw items and you can't block. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be All right. Funny, actually. You stand still and you just throw items. That's it. <laughs> when you, you, you lose... <laughs> come on! <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, doctor. Greetings, doctor. Greetings, doctor. <laughs> That's the way you should start a Faust Mirror off. It really way. should. Then you swap sides. Oof, oh, counter hit. Nice. 
Tech trap. Ugh. Yeah, he'll take all of those hits, no problem. Hey, I guess the throw. That was legit the only defining factor of this match. They were playing so evenly up until Elven Shadow got legitimately one clean hit. Yes. Oh, scalpel pull. How do you pull him over the donut? I don't know, bro. Oh, mini fast nice. out there. We take those. Oh, bomb on the side. Nice. Elven was already jumping. What a beast. Yeah. Ooh, drill hits. Oh, he'll take down. that trade. He'll take that trade again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, what a beast. What a beast. Nice mix up. Oh, didn't get the punish for it, but wasn't ready for the cancel. Oh, We're a big body, so we get double flower. Oh, my nice, God. Dude, he, he was going ham. God damn it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. No, but you just run round start. Every both people toss item. That's that's it. Nah, it should be round if you start. Get, if you get hit, item. you lose. If you get hit, you lose. <laughs> That'd be that sounds tight. Actually, you make it three out of five. It's yeah, one exactly. game, three out of five. <laughs> How about the Faust player? Like when online comes back around, just Faust players like don't even play the game. They just rock paper scissors each other like five times. And three like, out of five. It. Yeah, that's it. Whoever wins wins. That's it. <laughs> That's, that should be a Faust only tournament. That sounds tight, actually. Faust only? Oh, uh, it's like, what was it? Was it um, Michigan Masters? Uh, oh, Gordon yeah. Knight? Gordon Knight, yeah. <laughs> Faust, a Faust uh, all Faust tournament would actually be mad sick. That sounds tight. Oh, my God. <laughs> there, there's a way to make that really silly and really fun. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. All right, Isaac. You got to channel Mahoko right here. Mahoko and Jace at the same time. Both Jace and Mahoko just holding their hands up in the air. Sending all the power to their Bridget brethren. All right, let's see. Because I, I know I've seen Isaac play in like the last couple of tournaments and they've been getting progressively a lot stronger. Everything looks cleaner, their movement's better, but then they got to fight Elven Shadow, someone who has been playing this game for 10 plus years easily has a bunch of, oh my god, experience and RNG yeah. as well. Already just super good. Nice. Think, 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 think. OTG, not quite. The character is floaty, so that means she doesn't hit the ground on some combos. And that's, uh, that's exhibition point for Elven Shadow. Wait, this is a lot, he's the last guy? Oh my he god! Six the last one. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Oh, okay. let's go Twitch. Nice. First. Oh yeah. no, Bridget's doing Bridget things. There he goes. Early burst is fine versus Bridget, considering that she needs so many hits to kill you. Bomb? Bye. Oh god, how did Alvin catch him? He is so good at air movement. Like, it's incredible. Like, he knows exactly what he needs to do. Door. Alright, still just being able to tag Bridget is, is normally hard. Oh, jump D? Oh no. Nice confirm as well on the jump D counter hit. Yeah, you can see Elvin not wanting to give Isaac too much space. Oh, because if Richard gets the space and can get a life lead, it's terrible to catch him. Help, help, help. God. He threw two bombs, help! All right, drilling in, knockdown. Yeah. Oh my and, god. And she's a light character, so that means 2D pogo combos. Oh, that works on only lights? That works on light characters, yeah. God damn. Right, Congratulations so. to Team Elven Shadow taking it over Team Skeleton, twenty-five to twenty-two. Fam, we were we were over here like, man, they're not gonna want to send up Elven Shadow because they're, you know, they're gonna have to run into Blitz and Blitz is gonna mix everyone to death. And the Elven's like, shut up. Congratulations to uh, both all of Elven Shadow, Akito, and Mini Man who went undefeated. <laughs> is that how that works? Yeah, Mini Mat's yeah. undefeated. <laughs> what a beast! <laughs> Always knew he had it in him. <laughs> infinite, <laughs> infinite win percentage. Un unbeatable. Unbe Untouchable. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, that was that was super, uh, a ton of ton of fun. Congratulations yeah. to Team Elven Shadow. 
just real quick, uh, there isn't much to say, but first off, thank you to Follow the Abyss, who put it together. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for putting together and doing all of the, uh, the hard work behind the scenes. Thank you to all of the 50 players who joined us. This is not a small amount of your time today, so it is appreciated. And um, thank you to everybody who's watched, everybody who subbed. Uh, we hit both stretch goals of a 25v25 like this in the foreseeable future, three months-ish from now. And also the uh, 50 sub goal of a Japanese uh, Japanese only exhibition in Plus R, yes. which yep. will be put together by Follow the Best again. So appreciated on both sides. Thank you so much. And also thank you for everybody who donated to the Match Arena as well. That will be going to the players. Uh, and we really appreciate that. So uh, that's a contribution from everybody in the chat and uh, some of the players. So it is appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we couldn't do this without all you watching, donating your money, taking your time out of the day to make sure that people know that this is going on because exhibitions like this are they're more able to happen because, you know, our net play is so good and we're just able to have everyone around North America play each other frequently so, so you can still you can see all the skill levels and the characters develop from over the course of the last like almost a year now because mm -hmm. it, it's coming up on a year that we've had rollback for plus r and a lot of people have just been grinding playing because they're like i can finally play something that i've wanted to look at for years but never could because there's too many games to play offline or i'm too busy but now because we're all stuck inside we have more than enough time to do what we can do and this is one of them Yep. So, uh, I mean, yeah, just please say thank you to Follow the Abyss, even if you can't do it monetarily, which is very much appreciated. Uh, just as a quick thank you and, and tuning in for the chat. I saw there's like close to 500 people in here. So this is very much appreciated. Anything else to say, Tron? Um, yeah, so, uh, well, first off, I want to thank you both for doing an excellent job on commentary. I appreciate no you doing this for I think it was like four hours and um, I also want to shout out to Mech because he helped me get all the stream stuff together so it would be less messy and more organized. Mech helped me a lot last night for a couple hours so shout out to Mech for helping me and uh, we, we had a lot of hype matches today, very close set. And, you know, shout out to everyone who played. Um, we got the Match Arena if you want to do any last minute donations. We have um, the events that are going to be coming up because we reached the goals for both. And I will be updating when I have those put together. It's probably going to be another, another two months before I put those together. But those will happen. And I just want to, uh, if the remaining players want to play, I know that we had Aikido and Mini Matt left over. So if they want to play, uh, let me know if you guys want to play it out for just for fun because they were left over on the team. And um, I believe after I say some other shout outs, we're going to have Goken live. Do some push-ups for you, because oh, your points my. matter to us. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously I am going to be doing more smaller events as well, so just stay tuned. I, I always post up in this channel and the Plus R channel, so just stay tuned when I have those up. Um, Shout out to uh, Team Skele Skeletal Minion putting uh, a very, very good fight. And Team Elven Shadow just came out on top. A lot of insane matches. Um, no, like, super close. I feel like this one was closer than the last 25v25. I feel like there's, like, more players left over on the last 25v25. So, shout out to everyone playing. Uh, everyone played well, like even like some of the players we'd never heard of, they put on, they did work. So everyone played well, like even if you think you didn't play well and you didn't get like a game win, you still played well. This has like, 
these are strong players, so it's nothing to be ashamed of. And I, I'm going to have Goken come on if you to say any other shout outs. And um, I just want to thank you again, Sammy Fish and Fox, for doing commentary again. I appreciate it a lot. Um, helps me a lot, keeping the game entertaining. Um, so I'm going to have Goken step on. And if Sammy Fish and Fox want to say any other last words before we head out very shortly, uh, you can go ahead and say anything right now. Sure. Fox, do you have anything? Uh, <clears throat> everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with our commentary. Because, <laughs> you know, we've been everywhere lately and people are like, man, these guys just like to hear themselves talk. They don't like to, you know, talk about what's going on in the match, blah, blah, blah. And like, I want to thank you for listening to me talk bullshit for a couple hours. Thank you. Thank you for hearing my uh, Strive ideas. Send my, um, send my portfolio over to Arc System Works so we can give more fantastic ideas and strive all right that's it that's awesome. it thank you guys for having us we're gonna take off sure. and uh give it off to goken and uh hey thank you for playing and watching plus r i love yeah. you love you guys take it easy see Super you the next time appreciate it, guys thank Bye. you so much what's up everyone goken here shout outs again sammy fish and fox for amazing commentary super hype I was uh, watching the entire time, very, uh, very glued to the stream. Uh, it was epic. So good stuff to both teams. Put it in mad work. So yeah, we only had uh, mini mat left on Elven Shadow's team besides uh, uh, Orokito and Elven as well. And then on the opposite team... Isaac J went down, so yeah, we had a couple players that didn't get to play, um, and I think Tron was saying you guys can play it out if you want, but if not, we're going to get some push-ups and setups redeemed right now, <laughs> for all y'all that wanted to see that. Um, I don't know, do we have our camera set up? I got it. We, got we gotta get this camera set up, guys, hold on. Gotta do some unplugging. It was very entertaining and fun. Glad you enjoyed it, Jack Valentine. Thank you for the subscription as well earlier. Greatly appreciated. I see Mahoko in the chat. Shout out to Mahoko. Hope you guys really did enjoy. So much support today. Yo, K to the 9x4 with the subscription, the Prime subscription. Yo, thank you, kind... Um, kind person K to the nine by four. Thank you very much for the awesome support, Yai Bell. So Yai Bell, I'm seeing at the top here, gifted thirty subs today. Insane. Thank you again, Yai Bell. Kugi with the five, um, half, half and double also with the five. You guys are actually insane. We greatly appreciate all the support. I mean, that's that's 40 subs right there. We had 61 total today. These guys put in mad work getting us uh, subs. Thank you, everyone, though, that subscribed today. And every time a speedrunner wins, you get subs. Clearly, Mohoko. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys for donating to the Macherino to give these players uh, as much money as possible. I believe we ended up still with three. Oh, no, hold on. Updated. Four hundred and one dollars now in the Macherino. Yo, shout outs to Crooked Tricking with the fifty nine dollars and fifty cent donation, and Jack Valentine adding twenty to the pot as well. I believe I shouted out everyone else. So wow, good stuff, guys. Damn, four hundred one now in the Macherino. Great work. Um, all right. Fox is saying thanks to us both. Hope the next one is just as good as better in the Discord. Thank you, Fox. Strawberry gonna get that fancy boba now? Yeah, probably. All right, let's see what scene we have a camera on. Probably this scene. I don't know. <laughs> this scene is kind of messy. Uh, let's... Whatever. We're gonna add a camera. Hold on, guys. Um, there's the webcam. Uh, 
Hold on, guys. Try that clicking the other webcam. I know there's two in there. No, we got it. What's up, everyone? There we go. All right. Let's make this happen. Okay. So hold on. Um, let's put it. What's the best way to do this, guys? That's the question. What is the best way? Oh God. Okay, one second. I'm trying to figure out how I can position this so you guys will be able to see. That's where I'm gonna be. Right there. The floor. All right. That works, I think. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. Fifty. All right. Yeah, you guys can see. Okay. Let me do some stretching first, since we did redeem the stretching. I'm gonna stretch. Make sure we're ready. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there you go. Now you guys can see. I'm gonna do some stretching first, guys. Hold there on. There it is. Gokin with the stretches. There he is. He's loud and proud. <laughs> oh my god. After he uh, accomplishes this victory... We'll send you off to the other Guilty Gear area. Yep. Should be a Guilty Gear tournament going on. Alright. Stretching is a prerequisite. Make sure to stretch, otherwise you're going to pull your tendons and rip your tendons and all that stuff. Yeah. You don't want to do that. A lot of stuff. Right? Don't want to rip any ligaments and stuff like that. <laughs> rip ligaments. My arms are already sore because I worked out the other day. So that's going to be... So, tough. we're going to... So what he's saying is he needs a lot of support. Yeah, we'll see how many I can do at once, but I will get to 50. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So you might go all the way or you might take a mid-break. Yeah, probably gonna take a mid-break. Mid-break. <laughs> Alright, right, so he's halfway there. Half halfway there, everyone. Do more stretching. There was a lot of stretch redemption. A lot of stretching. There you go. He's gotta get all warmed up. Make sure all his muscles and everything are nice and loose. Yeah, this is hard to do 50 push-ups. Yeah, do that. Especially at once. And you know, all, all the people that are remaining after all this, we're going to send you right over to everything. Yeah, we appreciate it. Swap between push-ups and sit-ups? Swap between them? That's a good idea. I'll do 25 of the sit-ups now. Alright, he's going to do 25 sit-ups now, so that way he'll regain his other strength for the push-up motion. Yeah. Alright, well you can't see... Alright, there you go. You can kind of see now. He's just going to disappear every now and then. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, who's by the couch? Oh, it's Goku. Okay. So these are harder to do full setups, which I'm trying to do. But we're at 10. <laughs> While he's doing this, um, everyone on that was on Team Elven Shadow. Please make sure that you have a Matcherino account so I can add you. And if it is some different name, for whatever reason, just DM me in Discord. So that way I can um, add the name that you have it under. Blitz! Blitz, you, um, you played, you know, you, you played good today. 25 each. Damn. We had that was some good matches. So now he's gonna rest a little bit and he's oh, gonna go back to his feet on the next one because they're hard to do fast and he's not holding the feet. The feet move and then it becomes very hard. Alright, I'm gonna recruit Sun. Yeah, Sun for the next twenty five. I'm doing twenty five I'm doing fifty push ups and fifty push. Okay. But 
For the sit-ups, but not yet. I'm gonna do 25 minutes of this. Give me a sec, guys. It's not easy, you guys. It's not easy. You guys wanted to see this, so you try it at home and then tell me. Well, you know... Oh, you're not here. Yeah, well, you know, um, that guy is like a fitness maniac. Fitness maniac, huh? I'm not a fitness maniac, but I'm trying to get back into it. Just rip some sit-ups. Alright, so here we go, going back to the push-ups. By the way, um... He has 350 push-ups during one stream? This must have been a long stream that he did. Wait, what? This guy, Ryudo, he did uh, 350 push-ups during one stream. That's actually insane. He must, uh, he must have did like 30 to 40 at a time or something like that. That's kind of insane. So it's about four hours, ten months ago. Wow, it's kind of crazy. I don't know, like. Hold on. Eight more days. Hold on. Like maybe like throughout the day if I spread out, but man, I don't even think I could do that in like four hours. No way. That's right. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Losing it. Hold on. You got a couple more. Yeah, I'm actually going to be joining the gym again, guys. So you'll be seeing that, that buffzilla. Alright, we got 50 push-ups. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so now we're going to recruit our good old buddy. Yeah. He's gonna hold his legs in place. Gotta hold my legs in place. You gotta have someone holding it or be up against the wall. Otherwise, yeah. sit ups are very hard to do. Yeah, right. So, he's gonna do 25 more. Like if you wanna yeah. right. redeem anything else gotcha. right now about magic, right. metal, yeah. right. you just let me know. Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> So my other buddy out to the side, he used to play Guilty Gear a long time ago. He was actually an Eno player. Oh, I think I did recommend you a band, but let me recommend you another band. Thank you, son. Uh, are we... We got it, guys. Let me recommend you another band oh. since you probably missed it. How about you check out this band? Oh, thank you. Check out that band. Alright, so let me go ahead and see what's going on with the other uh, stream. Um, Damn, let me know. see. I know, I needed that. <laughs> oh, good man. job, good job. Thank you. Good so good we job. got... Yep. Wow. <sighs> Alright, so... Uh, Here we go. There we go. Alright, so hold on. Let me uh, see. So, if anybody has any last questions or anything that you want to ask me about anything, now is the time before I send you off to the Boomer Brawl.
Oh, what, do you what do I use for streaming? I have, yeah, I use like what specifically? I use a laptop for streaming, and I oh, Streamlabs OBS. Dude, heck yeah, uh, next Frosty offline will be hype. Um, you know, I'm lucky to uh, participate in the online one. And surprisingly, I actually did not do bad. Shout outs to all you last minute people. Shout out to Mr. K, you still here? Thank you for the the nineteen. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> Love it. Wow, nice. Okay, what are you doing? Alrighty, so I believe last thing, if you ever want to challenge me in Guilty Gear or whatnot, I do stream about three to four times a week. What's my favorite? Billiard ball, whatever, whatever the blue or purple one is. I don't know what number that is, but I like that one. And you know, that's right. <laughs> Venom players would ask that question. Yeah, actually, I don't even know if you're Venom player. <laughs> All righty, so on last minute questions, if you want to ask me anything, now's the time. Otherwise, I'm going to send you off to another hype tournament going on. And I'm gonna, I will spoil something for the Japanese exhibition. So for the Japanese exhibition, um, I'll name three players that I am going to hopefully get in contact that they can play. So I'm definitely going to try to get a hold of Kesuke, Hosa, and Hoda. So you can definitely count on me trying to get those players into exhibition matches. So... That's something if you want to look forward to, I am going to be trying to get them in there. And um, with that and everything, with this successful 25v25 tournament, that has happened. Everyone that has been here tuned in. And still sticking around, watching us, you know, do the exercising. You know, gotta stay healthy. Um, I appreciate it. I like doing these events. And I like everyone enjoying some good ass Guilty Gear. Alright, let's send them over. So, I'm gonna send you all over now. Catch you guys very soon. It's gonna be hype. Ah, uh, here we go. Is that the stream you read it? Oh, uh, did you not? Did you like get off? Did you go off? <laughs> I thought that was he signed off. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess all the people will go over there now. I can whatever. They're all over there now. I. Did this tournament end already? It must have, I guess. Well, Black Snake gets it now. 